milk crate Murata. You can't touch me, you're not man enough. I eat your ass all alive, you bitch. Surprise, motherfucker. For tomorrow, sunshine, 60 degrees, Martin Luther King Jr. Day. We're going to see temperatures in the low 60s. Let's hear it one more time. That's for the culture. For tomorrow, sunshine, 60 degrees, Martin Luther King Jr. Day. We're going to see temperatures in the low 60s. Get that son of a bitch off the field right now. Out. He's fired. He's fired. I don't believe it's a symbol of racism. I don't believe it's a symbol of slavery. That's my personal view, but how they feel is their business, but it, it, would, be, it would be ludicrous for me to tell you how they feel. Hey, I get down the street, I see Martin, Martin Luther King. Um, I shouldn't say that. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, a few words from Martin Luther King. I didn't even know I had a day dedicated to me. I don't do that email shit. We only do smoke signals up here. A lot of people aren't aware there's a direct line of communication between heaven and hell. No shit, Sammy Davis Jr. wants me to put in a good word. That motherfucker messages me every day. I told him, that's what you get for fucking with Anton Levy. Try to ship me that eyeball, cause that's all you're gonna see of paradise, you satanic piece of shit. Let me finish this speech, cause if this can't teach you, then this is way beyond your reach. Preach. I once had a dream that turned into a nightmare, cause outside my window screen the crackers were still right there. With their dogs, hoses, and badges. Our daughters became hoes, good for nothing but shaking asses. Our son skipped school, now wearing gay fashions. Fuck that Al Sharpton, don't trust that Jesse Jackson. Oh look at my son, what a fat fuck. If you marched around like your daddy you wouldn't be so chunk. Send a shout out to my dear Coretta. I hope it might get her, is she still pissed I came on the white girl's sweater? Please God resurrect me Japanese, because my people can't keep any street with my name on it clean. Oh yeah, Beetlejuice, for president. Somebody drop down zone. Amen to that shit. Alright, so you want to hear the that's essay that got yes, Casey... that's what we were talking about. Alright, alright, this is his first Everybody grade... Everybody wants to hear this. Casey, come on in here. All right, so Casey, just to give you a, a, a story, Casey, I hired him right out of college. He was a football player from Kentucky State. Seemed pers pers uh, perfectly reasonable, didn't he? Good-looking guy, nice, well-mannered guy. And then I've come to find out he, ha he, he got in trouble in college. He beat up a guy, had to go to court, the whole thing. Had to go to anger management classes. And it turns out, from the time he was in first grade, he, he wrote an essay, and they put him in the school psychologist. And this is the essay. When was the that, last well, time? That's, you know, one of them. That's the only one that I had. When was the last time you hit somebody? Uh, I was not I was in college. I was Western Kentucky, by the way. Oh, uh, Western Kentucky. Yeah. Well, whatever okay. it is. Yeah, who cares? Hey, let me ask you this. Is this the essay that got you in trouble? Pretty much, yeah. All right. This is the start. It's called A Tall Tale You Won't Believe. Okay. All right. It's hard to read because it's in pencil. Your daughter's uh, laughing at me, Howard. Well, she I'm never... She, what is that? You're afraid to hear it? I'm excited to hear it. Oh, you are? That's funny. <laughs> Once upon a time, there were three people. Kyle, Casey, and Armstrong. Oh, my goodness. Ready to lock him up. His I'm, name is... I'm running for cover now. Because your name is Kyle, Casey, Armstrong, Armstrong. Right. right? Okay. Cuff him. <laughs> and all of a sudden, a guy I saw was eating a mouse. <laughs> I went to Armstrong. I went to Armstrong. So he was fishing in his pool. He was drunk. Oh, man. Hi, he said. Yeah, hi. So I got my fishing pole and put a monkey with mustard on and dropped it in the water. <laughs> oh, I got a nimble. Oh, no. I pulled too hard. All I got was bones. The skin and meat came off. Whoa. So next I caught a stingray, but it turned into an Indian. <laughs> so I got out my knife, cut, cut, cut into little pieces. Cut, cut, cut. <laughs> but soon he came after me. So I said, wait till you something. Then I got my vacuum cleaner and I got all the pieces of the Indian I cut up. <laughs> then I went holy mackerel. <laughs> First so now he chopped yeah, he chopped the guy up. Chopping Tato. <laughs> right. He, he, he chops him up and now he's vacuuming him. And now he's chopping up an Indian. 
So then I went to Kyle's house, and he had so many. He had fifty. He had five million cigarettes in his mouth. <laughs> and when he saw me, he tried to spit at me, but I, but I bludgeoned him. He used the word bludgeon or something like that, or I, or I blocked him. I I bonked him. You bonked him. Kill, kill, kill. <laughs> No wonder they locked you up. What is, they didn't lock what, you up hard. What are you for, for like a first grade? That's not creative. Oh, oh it's very creative. Oh, oh, oh. Who knew the word drunk in first grade? Yeah. I don't know. Well, but <laughs> he was drunk. Five hundred cigarettes. He's totally absorbed with weird cigarettes, stuff. drinking, chopping, Indians chopping up. up Indians and vacuuming them. Why an Indian? Yeah. What is he, uh, Benji? We we're talking about in the office. It's. I think he's trying to kill part of himself in first grade. Yeah, who knows? Kyle, Casey, and Armstrong. He had three different right. personalities. He was a schizoid. And he was trying to kill right. one of his personalities. And everything. Yeah, and that's coming from Benji, that's who's completely good. retarded. Look, Benji walks in with a vat full of food. <laughs> he can't even walk around without food. <laughs> I remember that one. Wow, good. dude. What? I can see why the teacher sent him down well, to the oh, yeah. Can you really? You don't think that was. And then there's little stick figure pictures of little little sad boys and stuff? Like, 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 like frowning? Yeah, but Howard, I think that's that's creative. Mm. I don't think I don't think that's yes, uh, but scary. you have to wonder what kind of a mind that kind of creativity. Yeah, where's that come from? Like, you, you, from somewhere. Like you don't think of that stuff. I like oh. to send them to the school psychologist. <laughs> like you don't think about cutting people. <laughs> like you don't think about killing Indians and vacuuming them Never up. Never occurred to me. Kill, kill, kill. Get rid of the evidence. <laughs> Jump up tunnel. Because right. this isn't even like somebody's doing something to you. You're just walking around cutting and killing. Yeah. Well, it was just you know just things that were, were happening. It was You're kind of coat mafia, dude. No, I'm not. I would, I would never hurt anybody. But, you know, uh, oh, yeah. except for the guy you kicked in well, the nuts I did, and you know, uh, the guy you bludgeoned outside of the bar. Robin, well, I treat people the way they treat me. Milk crate Murata. He's a piece of garbage. Here's the uh, deal. Ask Howard is a game where Casey asks me a bunch of questions is yes or no answers. And we you want to try to see how well we know you? Yeah. If it gets boring, just tell me because I really I don't think that this is particularly interesting. That, that tells me it's going to be really good. Okay, fine. All right. You guys ready? Sure. Because okay. I know one of the answers. <laughs> now, you actually wrote one of the answers. Because I did not answer. Mom goes, I know the answer. And she was right. Okay, here we go. Ask Howard. If Prozac made you happy, would you take it? Yes. No. No. Why do you say yes? You don't want to be happy? Here we go. Okay. No. No, I don't take, take drugs. I don't take drugs. I know my vote. <laughs> All right. Here's the next one. Have you cried in the last week? <laughs> I'm going to go with Now, yes this is that. interesting because you've been crying lately. That's right. a tough one. No, not in the last week. Yeah, it, maybe. No, I'll say he did. I'll say he did. I'll All right. I'm going to go with yes on that. I'll say not in the last week. No. <laughs> I haven't cried in the last week. You know, it's not like I'm some guy walking around weeping. weeping no, 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 but the last time I cried was when Shira the cat died. I went to the funeral, you know, yeah. and I, I sat there with my kids and my wife. And it wasn't I wasn't crying so much for the cat. I was crying about everything. But you know what? Well, and, we're not uh, saying it was just whether you cried right, or not. Right. I figure your crying yeah. is not ah. happening on a regular basis. No, and you know what? I hate that crying. I detest My shrink got me crying. <laughs> and now I detest he, it. He yeah, but, succeeded in his goal. How yeah. are you doing? I said, you're happy now? You turn me into some kind of big pussy. <laughs> no, but once the floodgates open, right. like, I hadn't cried for 15 years. This is right. happened in my life. Yeah, you know what? I don't even want to hear about it. I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's horrible. This is the best thing about men crying. It's such an ordeal. Oh, my God. I mean, it, it makes me feel like I just got raped anally. You ever watch a, you ever, you know. you ever watch a show and cry? No. no. He's, he's, he won't do that. I'll tell you, I cried the night I had to tell my kids we were separating. Yeah, that's cried like a baby. About it, and he's been crying a little bit about yeah. it. He's admitted to it. I cry about it. But once, see, once uh, they saw me crying, I couldn't control it. I was embarrassed. I, had to go, I almost like had a th I almost them. threw up. Oh, my goodness. That's how like bad it was. Like and yeah. making all those noises? Yeah. Oh, sobbing. Yeah, like a woman. <laughs> all right, there, I admitted it. No, but it's okay. <laughs> In case he's disgusted. Yeah. He's like, my boss. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I worked for I a even had, I even had schnats. <laughs> oh, my God. And your kids saw that? <laughs> yes, they did. Did you get to that point where you were like... <laughs> <laughs> no, but it was, I couldn't even talk. I couldn't catch your breath. Nah, yeah, it was you, too sad. You cried? When was the last time you cried? Uh, I, I, yeah. I, I, I did once, and I felt so sick. Let me tell you something. I had cried only one time in my life when my grandfather died. No, there and was I, that Sting song that made you cry. Yeah. It made you think about a miscarriage or something. Yeah. So, Maybe two times. You know what I'm saying? Men don't cry and men don't touch. Right. 
So don't ever touch Casey. You won't. He's weird. I put my hand on his shoulder. Do you freaked out? It does. Jumps. It jumps. That means you are gay, dude. Oh, Who cares if another man puts you? In... It's, not, it's not another man. It's my personal space. That has nothing to do with me. That's man. not true, Casey. Because I touched you. You said it was all right. Because you're a woman. Your personal space is between your ears, Casey. Yeah. Right. But one time he was standing at his desk, personal Howard, space and is I, empty. I just put my hand on his back. I went, <laughs> Me too. Like I had to tell him something. Right. And he, he jumped as if I'd walked into a dark room and yeah. scared him. And, and I did it, and he didn't do anything. Well, that, Robin, that's, you know, that's... that's and you know what's weird about you, dude? It's like, like so I was kidding around, hey, Casey, and I hit him on the you know, shoulder, hey, buddy, you know. He was like, oh, oh you know, all uptight. And I went... He gets aroused. I think, you get, I think you're afraid of getting stimulated. <laughs> man, you know, men you know, touch each other. Man, we always hug and stuff, sure. man. Yeah. Hey, you don't hug anybody? No, I think, sure, I'll hug people, but, you know, I prefer oh, no. not... I prefer that means not you're to, gay, dude. I prefer not to be touched by anyone. Hug Gary. Man, something happened to you. I hug you. I think you're a great guy. He's a well, wrestle, and now he can't be touched? Right. That's a different thing. I mean, you know, it's, it's not a... Oh, stop. That's aggressive. No. Not a love he put a stop. he put a rearview mirror on his desk to see if people were coming towards him right. to touch him. Yeah. I'm not kidding. I'm not joking. Oh no, no I know because I was trying. I you know I just went over and tapped him on the shoulder. Yeah. And I thought, oh, you've got that touching thing. He says, no, it's all right when you do it. Right. No, it's it, well, I, I throw you. That's why. Right. Right. What did you think was wrong when I touched you on your shoulder? What did you think I was going to come on to you? No, there's nothing wrong with that. I don't. You know, we're friends. Right, don't go like there. You well, might linger a little too long. It's, it has nothing to do with what's your personal space. Who cares about your personal space? I do. I do. Yeah. Well, go home then. But something's wrong with you. Go home and be personally with your space. <laughs> nice. You're, hey. you, man, you, someone did a number on you. Uh, You're old man. What's wrong with you? You hate your father, right? <laughs> no, I, no, I love my old man. <laughs> right. That's why you can't be touched. Yeah. Touches me Did your old man force you to, like, wrestle and be in sports and yell at you in junk? <laughs> He was a coach. <laughs> Great. He was, no, no. He, he was a, how, You're lucky coaches are supposed to be real smart. He wasn't a coach. Yeah. He was Casey's coach. Right. That makes you know, so I think a lot of times when it, I I've seen it myself, when the dad is the coach, the kid gets it the worst because the dad's gonna right. show the team he's not playing favorites. Right, right. Yeah, but then but when yeah, I got he, up, hey, stupid, you're supposed to be my father, not my coach. Oh, but boy. he actually he retired before I got up to, to Varsity because we would have oh, So then up. he could concentrate fully on you. <laughs> right. Yeah. You're always his pet project. Good luck. When's the last time your mother got laid? Uh, I don't know. What you call it? Why don't I ask you out on a date? Never mind, Angie Everhart. I'm going out with your mom. Mm -hmm. That'd be cool. I'm going to be your stepfather. Yeah, I'll be. I'll be has a cute mom. I'll be the chaperone, bro. I heard you got a cute mom. Yeah. Yeah. Is that true? You want to come over for dinner? Yeah. Why don't you invite me over? All right, you come over for the games on, on Saturday. Good. Yeah. So I can bang your mother. And he'll oh, you very <laughs> I'll bang you over the head with my fist. <laughs> <laughs> you behave. You don't, want, you don't want to get my personal space. Yeah, I'll, I'll get, get right up in you. Hey, would you really be uptight if I banged your mother? Seriously. Would I? Yeah. Would you care? Uh, if 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 she uh, liked you, then <laughs> that's fine. Really? Like, does your mom go out and stuff and you're aware of it? Your is mom, his you, father dead? Yeah. yeah. Oh. No, his father's your mom must be, safe yeah. in the ground. Your mom's oh. apparently he's coaching. Pretty. He's coaching that big game up in the sky. Oh. But apparently your mom's pretty, and she's you know, apparently relatively young, and you know, so she's got to go out and have a life. Risky, right. Are you aware of the life, or do you just pretend it's not happening? Um, I, I have no idea. Yeah. You don't know if your mom dates. He's got his blinders on. Don't ask, don't tell. I mean, you know, this <laughs> tell your mom I want to get in her personal this, space. This, this, is like, this was like, this is a new thing. You know what I mean? It hasn't been, you know, there's only a couple of years oh, ago really? my father died. She waited a and couple of years? she hasn't dated anybody? She probably kept it from Casey. You I don't care, you know, whatever, whatever makes her happy, whatever she wants. So if it's me, you don't mind? No, I don't. Me, Jackie, that, and Fred. That would bother you. You're my boss. Right. That would bother you. Triple team. Yeah, not because I'm your big boss, because you, you think I'm not good enough. No, because if I had to flatten you, then i get fired. No. No, you think I'm not good enough. And, and Howard, you know... But you want to be happy? I know how to make a woman happy. Sure. I, bet you I throw money at her. <laughs> the what? flatten thing, he's not kidding around about. I'm telling really? you. He, I know that I know that there was one time a guy said something about his mom, <laughs> and he was seriously thinking about going to find him. No. <laughs> He was thinking well, about you know it. he has a problem with anger. Yeah, but I have no problem with that. Yes, you do. I'm very good at it. <laughs> <laughs> Other people have problems with my anger. Yeah, that's that's right. right. Maybe if oh, I, I get, get it pissed that off way. real good. You do the right thing, and you you don't you don't rub people the wrong way. Then you well, who fine. knows what the right thing is with you? What would you just say if your mother dated a black guy? Hey, good for her. Really? Yeah. A, a black guy if like if that made her happy. The blackest guy on the planet. Well, Terrific. Well hung. With, with like a like a <laughs> moose, like hung like a moose. Oh. <laughs> like the guy in the guy in the Green Mile. Right. That, that big guy. That he was a nice guy. Sweet. Huh. Yeah, sweet guy. You don't have any problem with that. So I mean, you tell, I would take an L then. If I went up against him. All right, come on. Let's let's continue the Ask Howard game. Here we go. Yes, I'm not. Oh, ask oh, well, I came in to say before I was just uh, you know raped. <laughs> uh, are you, are you clowns going to bet on this or not? I don't know. Let's see. Let's, like let's, let's, see what, let's see what happens. I can't bet. Obviously, I know the answers. No, I'll I bet, bet anybody. I bet what made you cry, by the way? You, you said you cried. You felt sick. 
Oh, this, this was a couple of years ago. Oh, I never felt like such a coward before in my life. What'd you? <laughs> this was this was uh, probably about like six or seven years ago. What'd you cry about? Um, I would know. It was just one of those things that we. You know, Dan Marino's ass. Yeah. It's one, it's one, I know, Casey. It's got to be one of two things: either a girl, which I don't think it was. I'm gambling on um, losing some sort of a big game. Did you cry when no, you? No, hell no! Come on, what do you? You, I just, you, you don't think I'm? Did you cry when your dad died? I didn't know. Wow. Definitely so not. could you tell me why you cried? I wouldn't cry if my, if my, my dad died. Cried, You're cried, a real man, then. I think so. Yeah, why I, did you I, cry? I think, I, think, I think a man, you don't, you don't have to uh, show weakness. You can't show weakness. But why is it weak? You you it's, 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 it's selfish. It's selfish to cry in front of people that you care about. Why did you cry? <laughs> Somebody <laughs> ate my red chuckle. <laughs> <laughs> why, did you, why did you cry? Seriously. Be honest. Uh, it, was, it was just one of those, you know. It was a girl. It was a broad. No, it was one of those lows that you hit sometimes. What happened? What? What was it? It was just, yeah, it was just one of those things that all of a sudden you just... Where were you, in college? Uh, I think, yeah, I think I might have been. Tell and the truth. You know when you cried. Yeah. You don't forget something was, like was that. Was this like you're down in Kentucky, you feeling a little lonely early on? Are you on? No, it, it, wasn't, it wasn't that. It was just, uh, you know, it was a combination of what happened. Yeah, oh, the Ford card or something like that. Yeah, somebody had my red chuckle. Jesus Christ. What, no, what, that, why can't you talk about it, dude? Yeah. Well, I am, I am talking, just give me the I'm answer. Talking. What happened to make you cry? Something had to set it off. Okay, there was, there was, uh, <laughs> there was a, a broad involved. Okay. I couldn't get it up. No, not not that. She <laughs> that would make wallet. you cry, right? <laughs> so it was a girl who broke up with you. No, she, no, but just like you know, to, all trust just totally went out the window. Why did you? Why would you stop? Why did you stop? Ego. Why did you stop trusting her? She cheated on you. Yeah. Well, yeah. And you cried. No, it wasn't. Be, it wasn't because of that. But it was finally when I when I found out everything about it. Was she bang buckethead? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. No, I was banging him. No, it was it was it was that, and it was some other stuff too. Like? Yeah, just the way things were going. I wasn't happy down there and some other stuff. And I never felt like I was so sick and so disgusted with myself the next day. And, and still, I, like I think, of it, I think of it now and I want to puke. I want to rip my face. Being so weak. He sounds like he's describing right. pedophilia. You know, like I, I had a young boy once that was sick and disgusted. He cried. <laughs> that's, that's total weakness. You're not a soldier. Oh, mental, mental oh, shut up. Tell me you really no, it, it is. No, it is. You, you, know, you don't have to do that. You know what I mean? Dude, you think, you think you're not a man because you cried? Yes. I agree with you. Okay, here we go. Especially over some girl. Oh, boy. Will your wife me? sleep with another man in the next year? What? Will, you, will your wife sleep with another man in the next year? Oh, that's a horrible Ooh. question. No, I didn't like any of these questions. I say you say no because that's what you need to believe. Ugh, oh, that's a horrible question. You know what I mean? Like, you don't want to think about it. That. What did I say? Yes or no? Uh, what was my answer? No. Hey, Howard. Howard, what if it was a big black guy? <laughs> oh, shut up. No, what was the question? <laughs> Will your well, wife sleep with, with a man in, another man in the next? Right, here's what I'm I said. Like a moose. All right, here's what I said. You think I said yes? Yeah. Here's what I said. No. Right. Hey, I, I don't know. I mean, I really don't know right, the answer. What is it you don't want to think about? Yeah, it's none of my business. Hey, how would you, would you let me date? Would I let you date? Yeah, am I good enough? I, if my wife, I'll tell you something, I respect my wife's judgment so much that if she decided to date you and she saw something to do. Something you don't. Yeah, I, I don't see it in you. I would not date you. I'm not good enough? But if she thinks you're okay, you're all right with me. I know how to treat a woman. You do what you have to do. Here's some other. You think your wife used you for your money? Oh, no. no. How did I answer that? No. no. You work for your $96 a week? No. <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> right. Next question. Are you generous? Yes. <laughs> yes. Absolutely. Robin? Uh, I say yes. No. Yes. Jackie isn't. <laughs> uh, next question. I told you these are boring. Do you have yes. a big ego? Uh, yes. <laughs> what are you? This is what he asked me. Good Do you have a big ego? With these questions. You recognize that. Let's see. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's just, first of all, I'm standing in the bathroom with him answering these questions. And, and Which he, is very gay. Yeah. And yo, he let the the wettest, juiciest fart rip. Because I was annoyed with you. Because I was annoyed with oh, you. you did it consciously. Yeah. He's flirting with you, kids. <laughs> Answer my question. Would you ever try and direct your children's careers? <laughs> no. I would hope not. No. You wouldn't, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't give them a little advice? Well, give them advice. That's, yeah, direct, but, that's, that's not direct. No, direct means like tell them what they should do. That's how I'm interpreting it. Like saying you, should be, you shouldn't be a disc jockey or you should be a nurse. Right, Here is the answer. No. See? You think that people like you for you. Mm. How did no. I answer that? You said no. 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 
God, you're, you're easy, man. No. See, people know me. Wow. It sounds like you're trying to disguise your Here we go. If, if you were alone with Casey, you'd sound like this, too. You feel guilty after you pleasure yourself. No. Yes. Yeah. Not, well, wait a second. You asked him these questions a day or two ago? Yes. No. Yes. Yes, yes. yesterday. Yeah, then the answer is no. No. Yes. No. Oh. Yeah, the only reason you might feel guilty is if you were married. Right. Why should you feel guilty? I th well, you know, maybe I'm equating to him thinking, you know, Ugh, what am I doing? Right. Oh, no, that's... Yeah, I'm telling you, these, I'm, I'm easy to, you know... I know what they're doing. No, no, no. He feels like, ugh, I should... I'm a grown man. I shouldn't be doing this. Please, we got over that years ago. <laughs> Alan, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hello? Uh, yes, Alan. What is it? Nothing. I, uh, I had Casey Armstrong's mom for a high school teacher. Your mom's that's a teacher? Today, you better watch it, bro. <laughs> you better watch it, man. I like it's to say, I think town. he was cute. All right, that's enough. I think that it would definitely be all right if someone did bang her. And I think I'm you could get bang it. you in your freaking face. Is she tall? Is she right. hot? It would it be good if he could oh. make love? He's young. He's young. I didn't know your mom was. A I'd kill him. I you would kill him. I would murder. Do you see You would murder him if he made love to your mother. Uh, if, if 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 he did the wrong thing. Really? Yes. You would murder him. Yes. But well, what's no. the wrong thing? What's the wrong thing? Just what? being there. What's the wrong thing? Well, you know what the wrong thing is. You know. No. no what is it? No. No, if he, like the wrong uh, thing is rape. That's the wrong yes. thing. Okay, yeah, all right, that I understand. Nothing right. like that. What else? Or or in, inflicted any injury or anything? Well, you because right. you're her husband. What are you talking about? You, you're her protector. That's right. That's right. You're your you, mother's. You had to take over that's your dad. That's, that's, you're the man of. You're the man of the house, right? Yeah, right. Right. So you, you, would, you, would, you wouldn't do that for your mother no, because you're in love with your mother. And the problem is the reason you have trouble getting aroused with women is because no woman is going to Yo, be your mother. Hey Freud, cool it. Hey Freud. All right, whatever. <laughs> Casey, he just saved you twenty five thousand yeah, dollars. Now, now you don't have to go to a psychiatrist. No, you didn't fix it. You're you just crazy. identified the problem. And the way you win your mother's love, you, the way it feels good, is to protect her and you, to be her man. You and your psycho babble, so that you they can play it. out being your father. You're insane. <laughs> Wearing a lot of hats, <laughs> <laughs> helmets, <laughs> milk crate. That cost like a piece of shit. My curiosity is killing me just like a cat would be killed by the curiosity, yeah. Better than a cowboy. Uh, you know what? We need to go back to the scores table for a second. Oh, I understand that Casey's ex-girlfriend is at the Is that right? Is that true? <laughs> I can't believe it. Well, who is Casey's ex-girlfriend? Uh, let yourself be known. Are you, actually, are you Casey's ex-girlfriend? Mm, wow. What? Uh, are you really? Mm, we're good friends. Look. Really? <laughs> Good friend. Casey, tell me the story. Is this your ex-girlfriend? Yeah, we, we, we went out for a while. You went out for a while? Uh, we back in school, and we went to college together. I we went to college right. together. And what is your name? Helen. Helen. And uh, were you in love with Casey? Mm, I don't I wouldn't say in love. Well, did I he, liked him. You did like him. Did, did he bang you hard? <laughs> <laughs> did, did he ever have any trouble getting, you know, getting excited? Wow. I don't know, ask him. Well, we did. You said one time he had trouble. He just won't tell us. We just want to know if it was you. you was it you, Helen? <laughs> did Casey ever have a hard time getting excited? Uh-oh. It seems to me that there might, there might have been a I problem think, I here. I think we found the girl. Casey, is this the woman? I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't know that it was just one girl. <laughs> this, this, is a, this is a more of a surprise to me than it is to you. So, Casey, you have said that you had trouble sometimes getting aroused, right? Uh, a, a long time ago. Right. And you dated her a long time ago, so that worked right. out. Right. Yeah, so yeah. Worked you, know, out you guys are really neat, you know that? So is she the one who won the limp lottery? <laughs> hey, you know, it's Howard's birthday. We all have to give. That's right. Yeah. Happy freaking birthday. <laughs> <laughs> this is shocking to me. It's shocking to me too. How long did you two go out? How many uh, years? Uh, I'd say a couple, couple of months. A couple of months you went out. You bought, what school was it you went to? Kentucky, Western Kentucky, Western Kentucky. And Helen uh, Casey became a uh, radio. What is he? Assistant producer. And you. Yes. And, and, and what, what are you did doing? you become? You're working at Scores, right? Boy, Western. I don't Kentucky. know the connection, but. Yeah, yeah. No, that Western Kentucky's really turning out some good graduates. <laughs> no, but Helen. What happened between you and uh, Casey? Why did you break up? I don't know. Uh oh. oh. Casey. Helen, did, have I met you before? Okay, yeah, I, I know the story on this. I didn't realize it was you. They, I think they dated down at college. I think they were pretty serious. And right. Casey came up here, and I think I think she liked him a lot, but it just didn't work out. But I think she might the have. Distance, I think she might have actually come up to New York. You know, part, partly to work, but also partly to get it back together with KC. Is that right, Helen? No, not really. No, not really. Oh, you weren't following him. No, because he didn't know I was moving up here, actually. Right. Well, 
wow. he flung me up here and I saw the city and liked it. So, well, let me tell you. him knowing I moved up here. Yes, yeah, he used to fly her up here. Oh, really? Kidding. It was more than Get off just the casual team. dating. No, not, Stop it. Casey, there are a lot of beautiful scores women at the table. Yes, Is she the only one you couldn't get it up for? <laughs> I'm gonna get, uh, hit you with it. In a minute. <laughs> She's the only one, though, right? right. Yeah, but no, I, I don't. I don't, I don't recall it happening. Course. I don't know. Right. You don't even know what happened. You don't dance at scores? No. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, I'm a hostess. I do work there, but. Oh, you're a hostess at oh, yeah. scores. I see. <laughs> I don't know if that's that's good or bad. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what that. Usually, that means a dancer in training. Right. <laughs> that means you'll be. See, I'm waiting for a cocktail waitress position. That means you'll be taking your clothes off in a couple of weeks, Lonnie. Yeah, that's the progression, right? Lonnie? Right. Yeah. No, I like my cocktail too much. My my family wouldn't agree. Lonnie, with don't a lot of the girls start out as cocktail waitresses and then become full blown out strippers. When when she came to the club, we saw she was gorgeous and we said, we will get you somehow. Right. She should stand up. Look how gorgeous she is. Yeah, stand up. I want to see what Casey's doing. Helen, go ahead. Please tell me. Let me see. I can get excited for you. I can be very excited. Hey. You know, if you're, if, you're, if you're looking for a new man, I can be very excited. Gary the retard is like, what's wrong with Casey? Yeah, what's the matter, Casey? You can't get it up? Hey, I like Casey. I think she's pretty cute and... Gary, you think you could get it up for her? Yes, I could. You could. Yes, I could. You could. Yes, I no could. problem. Right. No problem, Howard. Right, Casey. Even Gary the retard says he can get it up. <laughs> Eat it, pal. <laughs> Helen, were you shocked when Casey could not get around? It was so long ago, I don't remember. You don't really remember what it was. But it had never happened to you before. Or since. <laughs> did you feel like it was your fault? What did you do at that moment? Yeah, I have a million questions. Wait, wait a minute. I don't, I, don't even, I don't even recall that happening. I mean, did that happen? Casey, yeah. I don't know. Oh. She thought I'd talk about it. Like it was yesterday. Whatever. Oh. <laughs> There's no shame, Casey. You're not a homosexual. No, yeah. He's not a homosexual. I will at least say that. It happens to everyone you say. Yeah, it happens to everyone you say. <laughs> He's not gay. I'll at least but say that. When it happened, what did it, was he drunk at the time? Do you remember? If it did happen, yes. He, he was. was drunk. Okay. And was he very embarrassed? Do I? Well, what did he do, first of all? I mean, you were in, you know, some kind of a position and you were working on it and... What, what happened? happened? <laughs> Sorry, baby. Yeah. That's, that's true. <laughs> you don't have a brother, do you? Did Casey hit on your brother? Yeah, I do have a brother. You do. And did Casey ever come on to your brother? Never no. met him. Never met him. Yeah, keep him apart. Keep him apart. <laughs> <laughs> My brother might like him. You never know. Right. Well, you're a beautiful woman. I, I uh, Casey, you're lucky to have a woman like that. And, Thank you. Um, I don't know why you wouldn't be able to get it up for her. Uh, I would I would have no problem in that area. I know it. You'll believe what you want to believe, all right? All right. But well, what are you saying? It never happened? I, I don't recall that happening. Neither does she. That's what makes it funny. <laughs> yeah, right. Right. So that means it didn't happen. No, no, no. She doesn't recall having sex. Yeah. A girl knows if she's been with a guy and it definitely Yeah, happened. right, right. Whatever. <laughs> Helen, was the sex good between you and Casey? Yes. It was. All right. Well, there you go. When there was sex, it was good. Yeah. But uh, when he had the soggy noodle, <laughs> it was upsetting, right? <laughs> if it happened, it didn't, it didn't last very long. I see. All but, right. But you it wasn't were, soggy for long. You were gracious about it. You didn't scream at him or... Ran out of the no, no. <laughs> right. Not at all. Right. Well, you got a kick-ass body, beautiful face. I, I you're can't, very understanding. I can't imagine what the conditions would be that a man couldn't get aroused for you, but I know I would have no problem. That's well, all I'm saying. Uh, he probably hadn't tanned that day, you know, and he felt insecure about his body. By the way, I'm aroused right now. If you want to know the truth? Just looking at you, sir. Well, thank you. That should make you feel very good. Well, Robin, the birthday show is really heating yeah. up. Yeah. Howard, look at KC, man. He's pissed. Wow, what are you pissed about? What? He didn't do it. What are you pissed about? This was just, it was, this was a shock to me, that's all. What's a shock? What, that this would happen? What? What? It, was, that it would be like this. We told you the birthday show was full of surprises. Yes, so, uh, it is full of surprises and kudos for you, you. <laughs> <laughs> no big deal. What you looking at? Hey, right up in the Jamaica, Jamaica, boy. That shit was not like the commercial. Right, because that's what gets you in. Born in love, born in love. You be practicing your boat. Pack your shit, we leave it. Cause the commercial show you all the good shit. The blue water, white sand, beautiful woman. You get down there, they got goats running through the gas station. Right niggas on the side of the road with ashy feet trying to say a hot pineapple. Yo, you like pineapple? Sandals. Like, nigga, you know a boulder gonna fall on your foot? And you're like, oh, ain't me a boulder gonna fall up on my foot?
And before you start the news, I, I gotta tell you, you know, this guy KC who works for me, I wonder about him. Why? What do you wonder? Well, uh, he comes into me the other day and he asked me a question. And in a serious way, it wasn't kidding. And he said, Howard, let me ask you something. If a horse is in a horse race and he wins, do you think the, the horse knows? Do you think he's happy? <laughs> and Come on, he wasn't joking. He wasn't kidding. As a matter of fact, you know he's not kidding because you were watching him talk. <laughs> tell me. You don't think that the, the horse knows that he did a good job? Of course not. It's a horse. The horse runs. You, you have to hit the horse to run. It doesn't know it's in a race. And that, that doesn't hurt them, by the way. No, I didn't yeah. say it did. I'm just saying to you. What, what about? How do you? How about not your not dumb question? Happy on a horse. Why is it such a dumb question? What you, you know? think a horse knows a race is set up? No, and no, then no. he's and in a race? He's, he's Do you think he knows horse. when he's made it to the Belmont? What you, you're asking me is, you think the horse knows he won a race? Right. You, of course not. How do you he's going to get fed better? Or... Yeah, right. How do I know? Yeah. Like, we, you, the animals like Why to Why didn't the horses set up racing themselves? Right. <laughs> Come on. How, how do you think sense? a horse knows? It, it, it's... No, it's it's not that silly of a question if you think about it. Uh, All right. what, you're, what you're saying is that you're making a decision that you know what the horse is thinking. How do we know what they're thinking? You don't think that they have some kind of pride when they win? You think one horse looks at the other like, I'm going to beat your ass, man. No, I don't know about that, but I'm thinking well, they might have some sort of some sort of pride when they win. You hired this guy? <laughs> yeah. I'm so destroyed with no, myself. But how do you I know? really thought he was smart. I want to get the race you know? I want to know why I'm such a badger to character. No, you're not using your imagination. Have somebody else write the stuff he said. Mm. Casey, when the race is over, <laughs> how does the horse know he won? How they, do you know he just... What they do is they give him... He doesn't even know what a race is. It's a horse. Uh, <laughs> how do you know? Because they don't know what a race... A race is a, a concept that mankind has set up. Horse doesn't know there's a race going Why on. That's what you think. You don't know. The horse. the horse doesn't know to run. You're insane. You know, the, the winner gets a wreath put around his neck. For right. all the horse knows they're hanging him. No, 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 no. You say, they have no idea. But if the dog, horse knew dogs, anything about the race... Dogs are happier Wouldn't dogs. It run faster no, than the other dogs, horses just because. Dogs, Why would it have to be prompted? Dogs are happier dogs when they when they do work rather than sit around. That's the house, true, right? Uh, the so, dog has the dog is not necessarily happy. The dog it's its nature to go out and run around, right? Not to win a race. Well, you don't know. But you they don't have know. Dog that. races too. You think they know when they win? Oh yeah, but yeah, yeah. They probably do because they get no, fed they better. No, they don't. Yeah, so a dog you know, gets fed has nothing. No relation to anything else. Oh. All right, I tell my dog to sit. The reason why you know a horse could beat you on an IQ test. <laughs> <laughs> the dog sits because I gave it food to teach it that way. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. So now, if the horse uh, wins the race, it's probably treated better than when it loses. <laughs> and now it wants to win. Oh my God! You know, no, it, no. It, 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 the, 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 the understanding that there is a race going on, <laughs> that there's a competition, is such a human thing. Horse doesn't know it's in a competition. Yeah, but that's what you think. You have no idea. You have no idea. Back it up. That's just your opinion. Oh, Casey, man. what's your eyes? You understand again. the competition? <laughs> Do you know what you're talking about? Yep. Well, you're, 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 doing, you're, you're, you're saying that you know what a horse is thinking, and I don't think you no, know. No, you're saying you know as well. Though. Well, I'm saying maybe. I'm you know. saying, do you think? I asked the question. So, do you think? You never think about that stuff? Did, no. Have you ever no. seen horses racing without people around? Oh, hell yeah, yeah. No, you've you seen horses there. running. They're running. They're running you've for a reason. You've never seen them racing. <laughs> but, you know, they might be racing with their friends. Who knows? <laughs> Jesus you think this is Christ. silly, but it, it is silly. But just use your imagination. You, I've never. I've seen two horses in a field. I've seen them prancing around. I've seen them knocking around. Uh, I, you know what? I, you know what? This is. I've never crazy. seen them get in a straight line. So I start getting into this. A, I start getting into this logic with him, <laughs> and it, it's like it's it's it makes me insane. Because I'll tell you why it makes me insane. I know what you're gonna say. That I hired him. You're gonna say. Why can't he spend his time thinking of things that are for the good of the show? Right. No, rather not than for this horses. Logic. Don't think of anything. I this can't is help a broken it. Broken brain. I can't. Do you help. think cows get upset because they know they're going to be eaten? Oh, uh, what, if a cow, let me hear the answer. You know, you don't know. <laughs> I do know. You don't cow know. Has no way. A cow just sits and has no feeling whatsoever. No, it doesn't have feelings. It doesn't know it's going to be eaten. Uh, it, what? 
You don't know. You think that. They, the cow understands you that it's going to be slaughtered? Where is all of his friends going? Oh, you think they try to escape? If a cow goes to the county fair and he wins the steer competition, they throw a blue ribbon on him. Is he happy? Well, he's done it once, so he probably doesn't know. But if you do it a bunch of times, <laughs> and does he so really what if he wins the, the bad thing? I know, I know it's silly. I know <laughs> it sounds silly. What if he starts at the counties and goes to the states? <laughs> does that make him happy? I, like, I don't know what <laughs> they're thinking. And I'm just, I just pose the question. <laughs> but the horses, he knows. I just posed the question. That's what all. about the horses? That Why move? pose that question? It's not. It's a question that's completely retarded. <laughs> no, no. A horse doesn't know it won a race. I, I wish someone would back. A up. horse doesn't know anything. So conversely, a horse does. Let me say, when a horse in Central Park is pulling a carriage, <laughs> you think he knows what he's doing? Or do you think he thinks if I could get out of here and run, <laughs> I'd right. be much better off because then they treat me better? Yeah, if I race, maybe I do better. <laughs> so let me say, do you think a horse is aware that he's pulling a carriage? Yeah. You don't think so? <laughs> no. So why is it heavier? Why is he? Why is he? It doesn't think, know anything. He just walks. That's what a horse does. It's so a weird. You're saying he doesn't have no. any clue that he's, no. he's carrying 100 pounds behind him. No. So does a horse know when he's being ridden and when he's not ridden? No. He doesn't know what you concept of being know? ridden. It's just something. That he just he just moves. There's no thought. So why, when someone comes up on top of a horse, Wait, that's been ridden, is going it's going to go far nuts. beyond. Yeah. No. The horse does know when something's on its back. Right, exactly. Yeah, but, but and it he doesn't knows it's know unnatural. What, that's why he tried to buck you off. It's just something. It's like a fly. It, 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 it's no different between a person or a, or a fly. Not to a horse. Okay. All right. Get out of here. Get out. All right. I'm just thinking. You should think about these things. All right. Oh hey, hey, Howard. <laughs> Oddly enough, I was sitting home yesterday having a, a bizarre thought as well. I want to ask Robin a question. Yeah. I was watching the basketball game. I don't know why this popped into my head, but I was looking at Larry Bird, and I was thinking, he's really getting funny looking. He's heinous. So I'm thinking, Robin, Desert Island, you, Larry Bird, and Jeff Van Gundy. Oh. Who wins? Jeff Van Gundy or Larry Bird? I think that's easy. Yeah, it's got to be Larry, Larry Bird. Bird. I don't know. I was looking at him yesterday. And Larry, Bird actually, that funny looking. Larry Bird actually looks like a bird. He does. He has a bird-like face. Yeah. <laughs> he's got the adder's apple and like the long beak and stuff. Yeah, he's a bird. He's turned into his name. A lot of people that happens to. <laughs> a little puff the hair. Yeah. <laughs> and you rate Jeff Van Gundy looks one to ten. Two. Jeff Van Gundy doesn't have any looks. <laughs> he doesn't have a. What is that? Hair, hair plugs? Bad. Yeah, I can see his plugs. face. He's so busy staring at those plugs. And he's got the dark circles, and he's always scowling, and he doesn't look like a happy. All right, let me ask you a question. Friendly guy. Be honest, now. Think about it. All Don't right. just put an answer. Gary Delabate or Larry Bird? <laughs> yeah, that's a tough one. Wow. She's got to go with Bird. Because Gary Delabate or Larry he Bird? He's my uncomfortable laughing. I'm going with Larry Bird. All right, there you go. So, oh, as answer. funny looking as Larry Bird is to you, Robin's oh, saying she'd it. still do Larry Bird. Oh, wow. Here's the one. Here, put the stake through my heart, Robin. <laughs> uh, Gary Delabate or Jeff Van Gundy? Hmm. <laughs> you have to think about the it. The even better enough. is already insulting. Right. Uh, <laughs> Jeff Van Gundy or Gary Delabate? I guess I'm going with Gary. Yeah, I have right. all my hair and I'll probably give it to you good. <laughs> I'm going Patrick Gary. Ewing or Gary Delabate? <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Uh, <laughs> so yeah. Let me think. Patrick Ewing or Gary? I think you're going with I'm Patrick going Ewing. With Patrick. Wow. Why? Oh, my God. Because <laughs> he's got a body. Size? Well, he's, he's an athlete. He's got a body. Yeah, he's also he's an athlete. There's nothing going on <laughs> upstairs at all. What's that got to do with anything? I'm insulted. <laughs> I'm insulted. <laughs> wow. I understand Larry Bird. I do not understand Patrick Ewing. Because <laughs> I've heard you talk about him off the air, about how ugly you think he is. But he's got a, uh, something. He's got that body. He's got mm. it going on. He's got a little something. I got a little nothing. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm glad I brought that up. Gary Delabate or feces. Oh! Uh, <laughs> so, wait a second. So, Patrick Ewing beat you out. Yes. But Larry I Bird. Gundy didn't. Jeff Gundy didn't. <laughs> <laughs> There's something. Hmm. How about Cabby? Oh. Cabby or Gary Delabate? She'll go with Cabby. I would go with Cabby. <laughs> you go with Cabby. Oh, well, yeah, I, I believe that. <laughs> and what's the basis of that? He's fun. He's, you know, he's like got something going on. I'm fun. I got something going on. <laughs> I'm fun. You I'm mean, fun. I get a laugh out of that. Kevin uh, <laughs> looks like he knows his way around a woman. <laughs> well, Gary has been with a lot of women. Doesn't mean anything. And <laughs> yeah, once he throws your legs up in the air and you get a good look at his tattoos, that's got to be hot. <laughs> tattoos give him a think look. Think about the tattoos. No, it's a good look for him. Gives him a look. It works. <laughs> Nothing like a guy covered in writing. <laughs>
bad writing. Yeah. <laughs> bad art. You know, when you get that many tattoos, you know what it says to me? What? I give up. <laughs> you know, I give up. I know, like, like, even, like, when Axel did it, it's like, why do you have to cover every single part of your body? Right. The walking peacock. <laughs> oh. I like this Gary Delabate or... Or whoever. Right. <laughs> Any other mashups you want to uh, throw at me? Mm. No, I don't think so. I'm getting nauseous. <laughs> Trey or Gary Delabate? <laughs> I, I think oh. Gary would win. Oh. Who's Trey? The little guy who was just oh, in your back. Hey, if a horse wins a race, do you think it's happy? Oh, man. Yeah. What? Hey, hi, let me just close with one more thing here. Oh. So, listen, so I got a dog, right? Yeah. And the dog, I think, likes me. I play Scrabble with him. No. So the dog... He wins. He beat me. Pissed, no, I'm, I'm not pissed, but the dog likes me, I think. So The dog likes everyone. <laughs> no, 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 no. And it counts on me to feed it and stuff like that, right? Don't you want to bet I come into your house? The dog will be just as friendly to me. No, 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 no. Of course. No. See, it likes me because I feed it, right? Okay. So if something happens to me, you don't think that dog's going to be upset? That's a human emotion. No, it's going to be upset if it doesn't eat. No, 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 because of me. Because I'm not around. No. 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 Wait a minute. There was a woman on Dateline last night who said that she, you know, she saves these animals in right. Africa. Yeah. And animals she, don't know. She had a baby elephant, and she nursed it back. Nobody even knew how to keep a three-month-old elephant alive. Mm -hmm. And she figured out the right formula, and she starts feeding the elephant. The elephant is thriving. And then she goes to her daughter's wedding somewhere in Europe and for two death. weeks, yeah. and the elephant died of loneliness for her. No. And See? she discovered oh, yeah. that she needed to have a whole, you know, she couldn't have the elephant attached just to her. She had to have a bunch of people so that he wouldn't die if she disappeared. But, uh, Robin, explain this to me. How, why do animals often attra attack their trainers? No. I have not. Here's the thing. I'm in Robin's case, with this in the case of Robin and Casey's dog. Animals do bond like in packs. That's how they. That's how they live, and in a surrogate, you become the surrogate. Why does a dog bond to a human? It does because it's a pack animal. Even elephants travel in packs, so they are pack didn't animals. Say the animal was just attracted to her. She said she knew if she put a bunch of people around it, then it would be okay. You know why? Because, because the elephant associated feeding the smell of this woman as like a mother. Right. Not that it loved her. There was no love. The eating ritual was this woman, her smell, well, her... the whole pack mentality. Right. They need to have interaction with other things. Right. Your dog looks at you, though, and it don't feel anything. Yeah, it does. It's the only like, thing it has. You're projecting no. onto it. There was another... Get out of here. I want to do the news and go home. You think the dog's going to die when you die? No, 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 no. I'm just saying that there were studies shown when people left work, Go ahead. The dog ran to the window. Right. And they, of course. Know, they know things. I'm telling you, they got like this. this yeah, they know things. First of all, look. Here's what they talk they about. They know it's dinner time. The dog knows. It can hear. And dogs have exceptional hearing. And in many studies, they see that a dog, if a, if a guy drives his car, even before it turns the block, the dog knows he's coming. Right. Because the dog hears the sound of that car every day. And he knows that you're coming home. And he no, he doesn't know you're coming home. He knows the sound of a car. He knows your smell. Your car. Yeah, but it's not love, no, no, stupid. Every car that comes by, the dog goes to the window. No, that's no, not true. no, it doesn't. It knows no, your it, car because fact, the hearing on a dog, they break down the sound of a car into 50 million more I sounds than do we do. Know. So they can hear specific things within the sound of your car. It's not because they love you. They I hear that sound every day and they associate that with you coming in the door and feeding it. If they can have that intricate of a, of a system to... First of all, he asked me, does a horse know it won a race? That's a problem. It doesn't know. Look, I want to do the news. Please, Robert. Please, I'm begging you. i got to get out of here. It would tell me that, you know, the elevator would go up and down in the building all day long. Good. But when I was coming up in the elevator, the cats would run to the front door. That's because you emit a low-pitched sound. The cats would hear it. Right. Passing wind. <laughs> You're just pissed off because animals don't like you. Animals love me. No, My no. dog loves me. You don't know anything about so, me. So you're saying that if that dog, if you don't show up anymore, Wait. that dog's not going to be sad. You don't know anything about okay. anything. Wait, I, you sound like someone who doesn't. I know more than you about I have a, everything. I have a question for you. <laughs> Sometimes you go to the house on Long Island, correct? To be fair, throw a saddle on KC <laughs> and ride him in a race. Uh, Sometimes uh, you go to the house. He knows. knows. <laughs>
<laughs> Sometimes you go out to the house on Long Island, correct? Right. And Java is there. Yes. When Java sees you, yes. is there a, a, like a big yes. reaction? Yes. Like a homecoming? Yes. The same reaction gets to 50 other people. <laughs> My dog loves people. So it's not just you. The dog knows me. Like you could say to the dog, go to daddy. And the dog actually comes to me. You know why? Because the dog has the intelligence of a three-year-old and understands about 400 words. It associates the word daddy with me. Got in love with me. You don't think that dog likes you at all? Yeah, our, our the food dog, dog is a pack animal. It's it's instinct. It's bred in him. See, Casey thinks he's got Snoopy. He thinks his yeah, dog he, while he's at yeah. work. The dog's writing novels and flying planes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and missing Casey and, and sad. Get out of here now, please. You disgust me. All right, what You're else? sickening me. All right. You're sickening me. Arf, arf, what are we going to watch on TV tonight, Casey? <laughs> Want to watch the Knicks? <laughs> hey, you're a gay dog. What do you think of Dan Marino's ass? <laughs> yeah, I think I it's a big too. Please, that question. That's amazing. <laughs> Unbelievable. All right, on to another subject. Right. <laughs> you think you're a wizard, horse? No. Oh, that you no. really mean no. that. No. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Oh, shit, okay. Okay, boy. Okay, boy. <laughs> boy. I don't think he knows he's in a show. Thank God you don't think that. Oh, I'm not sure she doesn't. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Embarrassing. You are embarrassing. So embarrassing. You don't talk to your dog. Oh, like an idiot. I just don't, I just don't tape it. I go, this is how I talk to my dog. You good girl. Uh, yeah, come here, you good girl. Who loves you, your daddy? She's not trying come to win a blue good. ribbon, dude. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like that bunch of yeah, I just don't. Like I just don't tape it. <laughs> That's right. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Good boy. Good boy. Mr. <laughs> <Mister> Ed. <laughs> he didn't talk back. Hello, Robert. <laughs> <laughs> he did not talk back. Take it easy. Come on, boy. Okay. Where is that horse? Meanwhile, it's in the horse factory getting eaten. Oh, no, my no. husband lives in New Jersey. He just moved to New Jersey. He did? Yeah. How's he like it? Yeah, it's just fine. Does he, he go to college? <laughs> Does he know? <laughs> he so. You know, he likes that as well as the last place he lives. <laughs> you think he knows he's in Jersey? You know? <laughs> he hates the probably really upset. Let's ask KC. Does he know he moved? <laughs> Hey, did your toilet know when you're taking a... Oh, play. You think the toilet like likes you? <laughs> you think you're a porcelain You think the toilet knows between pee and duty? <laughs> My toilet smiles at me. Oh, oh, wouldn't you like to spend a day inside oh, of his head? Yeah. Your toilet yeah. meets you empty. when you go on vacation. You realize his thoughts are like a third of what we think? You get sick of the echo in there. <laughs> That was a good one, huh? Uh, <laughs> I wonder if a horse knows it won a race. You think the horse is happy? Give me hoof. I'm going to ask my girlfriend. Slap <laughs> me some hoof. I want to. <laughs> All right. Anything in the news, Robin? Yes. Uh, you think you you're always trying to figure out what to do with yourself now that you're a single man? Surprise, motherfucker. Latest sports news off the street boppers. The baseball furies dropped the ball, made an error. The Marauder is on second base and trying to make it all the way home. But the inside word is that the odds are against him. Stay tuned, boppers. Stay tuned. Uh, you braced? I'm braced. All right, here it is. I'm getting married. You what? I'm getting married. <laughs> well, what happened? Did, did you, not, you, you make some girl pregnant? <laughs> No, it's nothing like that. Well, how could you keep something like this to yourself? Uh, when did you decide to do all this? See, I've been thinking about it for a long time now, but I just recently decided to do it. Well, is it Ethel and Rogers? Nope. Uh, well, did I ever meet her? Yeah, you met her once. Her name is Maria. Oh, yeah, then we out. You don't mean Magic Fingers Maria down at this <laughs> massage parlor on, on Manchester, Maine? <laughs> No, her name is Maria Fuentes. She's Julio's sister. You mean Julio, they live over there with the goat? That Julio? One and the same. You mean stand there and tell me you're gonna marry a Puerto Rican? That's right. Oh, no. Oh, yes. It's already gonna rain. But look on the bright side of it, Pop. When we have our first son, we'll name him after you. We'll call him Frederico. <laughs> Little Frederico Manuel oh, Fuentes. No. Ah, que 
asaltan a cualquiera. Mete la mano en el bolsillo, saca y abre tu cuchillo y te cuidado. Y que mucho ha matado. Calle Luna, Calle Sol. ¿A dónde? Calle Luna, Calle Sol. Milk Crate Marauder is the shit. You know, we're sitting uh, here in the studio during the commercials, and Casey comes in, his head is bowed down. My, 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 my poor Casey. What's wrong? No, he's, he, he turns to me and he's asking me advice. I said, say no more, you have to ask this to me on the air. Ask me again and try to capture that same <laughs> tone. That so you I, all, I, all I wanted to ask you is, if you think that for a thousand bucks... No, no, that's not how you asked me. All right, these people, these people want me to ride on a gay pride float. They want to book me and for an appearance to ride on a gay pride float. Do you think I should do it? I don't know. For a thousand bucks. Yeah. The problem is he well, wants to do it for free. Mm. <laughs> but no, what do you what do you have to do? What's like, your are reservation? You, are you the grand marshal of the gay parade? No, I, I'm going to have a float, <laughs> and uh, I'm going to be riding on a float. Doing what? Just riding on a float. But is it going to say KC? Why would you is be gay or, or is it going to say KC? Is it like the, the way they explain it to me is this is in Chicago, and they explain yeah. that it's a big thing, and the mayor rides on the float. But then I, it, they just want you like as eye candy for the float. <laughs> what do you got to wear? I, they said I, I don't have to wear like a dong or anything like that. But they just said, you know, just to, to, they didn't tell me anything about what I have to wear. But you know, th it's the thing is like it's riding on a parade. Why a thousand bucks? So who's who's coming up with a thousand to pay you? Um, the the people that want to book me. Yeah, but who are the people who want to book you? I think they're they have something to do with the the a radio station down there or something like that. Oh, see, you know what's funny, Howard? This is a more Casey has to sit. On a on a gay float. This is, See, the thing is, all the jobs he gets are gay. Right. No, I know. I, I, the thing is, like you know, I thought I'd be getting like you know girl stuff, but everything comes to me is like gay. If you would dance at gay bars, you would be a millionaire. No, but the thing is, man, if you go to the if you go to the parade and you support them, that's fine, right? Right. But I'm actually going to be on the float, which is saying like I'm gay, right? Right. I don't know what it's saying. So you know, I mean, I, I'm not I, sure. I'm not sure. I got a hundred bucks. Says that the mayor of Chicago is going to be nowhere near that float. Right. That's when what I'm thinking. Right. That's what I'm thinking. And it, I mean, the thing is. If I'm on that float, I'm basically saying I'm gay, right? No. no. You yeah. think uh, uh, non-gays are not in the gay parade? No, but they're not riding on the float. They're there maybe to support them, which is fine. But I mean, they could be walking down the street, too. And Why, the mayor's not saying he's gay. He's yeah. just walking in the parade. We got to No, 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 no it, it's on a float. Yes, yeah, so what? So oh, if you're on a float, if you're walking, is gay. What's why, would you, why would you be in the gay pride parade riding on a float? Because you need a thousand bucks. How yeah, that's true. I right. mean, that's, that's why I'm caught between us. Dude, you're just going to be, it's just going to be real embarrassing because everyone's going to think you're gay. But hey, they already, they already do. If you can get, get over that. They already do. I, I, I think you're gay. <laughs> Howard, here's what's going I think on. You want to be in that parade. Here's what's going on. They should dress you as Snow White for a thousand bucks. <laughs> this is a big moral dilemma for Casey, and I'll tell you why. Like Casey came to me the other day, had a bed, right? Mm. The bed broke. So Casey says to me, you know, I got to get a box spring and a mattress. How much does that cost? And when I told him how much it was, which was on the low end, he was shocked. Right. So now he's just going to sleep on a mattress on the floor. Right. No, that's fine. Though. It's, 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 it's so good like for my needs, back. So like he needs like six hundred bucks. Like it's it's should I ride on a float? And sleep in a good bed, or, or, should, sleep I, on the or should I sleep on the floor? Bill, you're on the air. Are you kidding me? You're going to go to that parade for $1,000? I didn't say I was going to do it. I said I was thinking about it. I was asking Howard's advice. Okay, so you're gay, man. Why am I gay? What, you, what, you wouldn't do it? Casey, for a thousand bucks. A self-respecting man wouldn't go within ten blocks of a place like why? Why, are you, why are you such a homophobe? <sighs> oh, I'm a homophobe. Why don't you just put on some fish sticks and go hang out by the Holland Tunnel, you little homo? Why don't you go, why don't you go oh. shut up? <laughs> shut up. Yes, uh, what do you think you should do, Joe? It's... There should be no question about it. you're a fag. What? Why? I mean, uh, Joe. For a thousand for, bucks. If I offer you a thousand bucks to go right in a parade, for what? Is that hour? gay is the question. It's for a parade, if it's for anything, anything whatsoever, you are associated with it. You're a homo. So uh, why do you, what, you know, you have something uh, hey, Casey, against the gays? Casey, would you come over to my house for a thousand bucks? Right, to beat your ass, I might. You ain't going to beat I'm doing it for free. You ain't beating nobody's ass. Shut up. Buckle. Steroid homo. Shut up. Oh, All right. Well, I uh, I look well, forward see, to this seeing. This is what you'll have to put up with. I look yeah. forward. You do it. Like, I, I look do it forward to it. seeing what you do. I think it's your decision. What would you do? Like you're first starting out, right? You're a young guy. You need some money. <laughs> Don't ask me what I would do. No. But I want to see because I'm I asking. tell you something. It's time you became a man and decide what you want to do. I'm, I know what I'm. Uh, I'm going to decide on my own. But Good. I would like to well, know come what you back. Do. Come back Monday and tell us what it is you're going to do. What would you do, Gary? How long do you have to make a decision? Here's what you do. What would you do if you didn't need the money? 
Like that's what's in your heart. You know what happened? He made up his mind already. He's just finding right. out. He's no, no, no. He's testing Howard, the water. No. He's doing it. No, I, I, oh, yeah. I, I don't Nick, know. Nick, you're on the air. He's oh, yeah. Justified. Hey, Howard, man, I listen to your show every morning. You're great. Hey, Casey's gay. He's a faggot. What? <laughs> what? Hey. Just going out, I'm talking about going on a parade doesn't make me gay. <laughs> it is one step closer to it. Hey, Howard. No, it's not. It's a, you know what? It hey, makes, Howard, me, it makes me more of a man that I can do that, and I, I, I and I, I don't need that. Uh, no, you're you guys doing it. What? So you're doing it. No, I'm but saying if I did it do free. it. If what? I did do it. What, Nick? He'll do it for free, Howard. All right, yeah, thank you. Yeah, well, Gary, ask your question. If you didn't need the money, would you I do wouldn't it? do it, no. You wouldn't? I mean, I, I could go to a gay pride parade. Gay Rich, you're on the air. Casey, I will hold your hand the whole time you're on the floor. <laughs> All right, now I'm definitely going. <laughs> no, Thank no, you, no. Gay Rich. That's yeah. Gay Rich. You're going to get hit on the whole day. You know that. Yo, the, you guys made me go to uh, the Gay Pride Parade in a bikini. Wow. Right. That was a joke, so, so yeah. you could always say, yeah, but this ain't a joke. Right. right. That's the difference. Yes, Vinny, go ahead. Casey, you should go, bro. Why Why you say that? Because a thousand bucks, you get your mattress and box spring. Right. Yeah, but they, I like sleep, sleep on the floor. is no big deal for me. That's like a luxury. You know what I mean? You don't need that. Uh, all right. Maybe okay. Maybe back well, into the parade, you could get a TV. <laughs> Surprise, motherfucker. Um, Elizabeth from Chicago. You're on the air. This is Elizabeth from Chicago. Hi. I wanted to know if Casey's going to be on the float this weekend, or, or actually the 25th. You know, Chicago is having a gay pride parade. And Casey was asked, he was offered $1,000 to appear on a gay float. And he asked me what he should do. And I told him he should go on the float. Well, you said uh, make your own decision. And I don't think we've really heard. What is your decision? I have made my decision, Howard. What is it? I will not be on the gay pride float. Come Why? On. Well, first of all, it's not like I'm going to the parade to support gays, which is fine. And I would be totally up for doing that. But I'm on the parade. That means so you're in the parade. No, I'm on a float. Right. What is wrong with that? Well, basically, it's what it's saying is, I'm on this float. You do, you would, I'm gay. You want the thousand. Wacky. You're wacky. You you wanted the thousand yeah. dollars. It doesn't mean you're gay. That's a nice little chunk. You I'm couldn't like, take the fact that everyone was kidding you that they called you gay. How? What I do? You guys kid me every day. But and, you know, kid me. You believe so why it. not? Why not appear on a gay float? I don't understand. Because I would do it. His rationale is ridiculous. Casey. What is it to a stuttery John? He needs the money so bad right now. He doesn't even have a bed. He doesn't have a bed. No, right. he, that's, he's that's trying fine. To buy a bed. That's fine. And, and they tell him how much they were. He's like, oh, I can't believe it. So he really needs the money, but he won't do this? Yeah, yeah. For, for other reasons, too. You know so why you should do, do it. it. Casey? Th what? You should do it because I'm a great Howard Stern fan, and, we, and I would go to the parade just to see you. Oh, that's it's very sweet of you. It's, it's very nice. But it never you know, occurred to you that you might attract heterosexuals to the gay yeah, parade. Well, so what does it mean? I you, went to the gay parade. Why would you, you're, you're willing to appear anywhere for a thousand dollars? Why not the gay float? Because it's different. It's not like I'm going somewhere. I'm the gay parade. I'm on the float. So what? I'm not gay. You so what? Gay. That's not saying you're gay. You it's saying you support we gay. Hey, you. The mayor the, will probably be in the parade. The, the mayor is not going to be at the float. I'm telling you. Yeah, you go to the uh, the St. Patrick's Day parade. Are you gonna march in that parade if you're not Irish? Yes, yeah. sure I would. No, you, no, you can go. Dollars? You yeah. can go. Give me a thousand dollars. I'll march in the parade. Hey, no, 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 no. Goes. I'm saying, but nobody marches unless they're Irish. That's, That's not true. Not true. Uh, oh, the mayor. Uh, what am I, the mayor? You think every guy every guy playing an instrument in that parade is Irish? Yeah. They're crazy. They're going, they're going <laughs> to support Irish people. Right. And. And they're going in the parade so because you support they're gay people. Yeah, I, I would support gay people. <laughs> the I would support gay people. I support gay rights. You should have been on the float. You know, he hasn't made sense yet. Well, no, I make I have plenty of sense. You, guys, you are so afraid that you might be gay. But you are not willing to go. I, what, if someone sat me on a gay float, that don't mean I'm what gay. What difference would it make? Yeah, it's just like, you know what, now I'm like a monkey. You know what I mean? Howard, I told you I have a bisexual friend who says... I'm like, hey, I'm, 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 I'm right by. What, what is that? He said that he met KC at, 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 at some fair or something. He said he's waiting to come out. Really? He's definitely good. He's going to wake up one day and realize that he's gay. He's, he's no, so I'll come out with a lashing for that guy because I'm not gay. All right, whatever. Hey, Howard, I think you are gay now. No, no, you guys, you you guys think I'm gay. I know you do. Thousand, you sit on a gay float. Who cares? It doesn't mean you're gay. You so now, sure. now I'm like, I'll be sitting on a parade, and I'll be uh, going by in a parade, and people will look at me like a monkey. Like, oh, look at look at him. You know, hey, I know what he's there for. Hey, 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 you like that anyway. How did it? How he went down on the street at the last gay parade in New York in a thong. Because you want me to. Okay, but he right. I did that for the show. Right. Yeah. So All I right. do it almost, yourself. Listen to me. Almost every gig he gets is at some male strip club. No, that's not true. That's true. 
Every no. gig. I, I grant that I'll do them all, but you know, not. And that you don't think that's gay? That's not gay. That's way gay. If you would have went there, you wouldn't think it was gay. Mm. See, see, it's not a long parade. You should do it anyway, and have. I'll sit with you on the float. I mean, <laughs> it's it's really it's for a thousand dollars. I'll sit with you on the float. Bring your boy. Yeah, she'll make out. She'll make out with you. There you go. That means I, you're heterosexual. I don't have to prove to anybody that I'm not gay. Obviously, you have a problem. I don't have any problem. Yes, you guys you think I'm gay, and that's fine. You think what you want. I'm you're gay. What? what, what yeah, fine. Cause what do you care? You need the thousand. You sit on a float. Well, Who cares? How easy? I care. Is that thousand to make? Oh, it, it's it's it is very easy. It's and you the, turned it down. I turned it down because I don't want to be a. Uh, what is it, Jesse? You're on the air. Homophobic. Uh, Casey. Casey, it's a perfect opportunity for you to come clean. Shut come up. out of the closet. Shut up. Come on. All right, so that's the end of the discussion. You're not going to be at the gay parade. I Thank will you. not do it. Aww. You have no real reason except you're afraid. No, I gave you my reasons. You guys don't accept them. That's up to you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you're either out. afraid of gays or afraid to be thought of as gay. Get out of here. <laughs> Something wrong with you. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Well, you know, uh, yesterday I was playing on the air this uh, Songs for Elian Gonzalez. Some guy put out a record. How many songs are there? There are four. We only got to one. Oh. By the way, tomorrow Sandra Bernhardt will be here. Uh. And uh, coming soon, uh, Darva Conger, who is going to be nude in Playboy. Darva Conger is the girl from Who Wants to Marry a Millionaire. She actually... She won. She won and then wouldn't even kiss the guy, barely. On the honeymoon. Well, she said that was the real turnoff when he grabbed her and kissed her on the show. Yeah, well, he married her. He her out. supposed to kiss her. <laughs> so in any case, uh, I've seen her Playboy photos because someone on the Internet posted them. Really? Yeah. Well, Playboy kept that stuff pretty locked up. I don't know. They, somebody must have bootlegged it and snuck it out because uh, I, someone sent it to me and I was looking so, at it. What do you think? She's pretty hot. How old? I don't know. 28, I think she was supposed to be. And you know how they were talking about her breasts kind of have that uh, Farrah Fawcett pencil eraser thing going on? Yeah. They do. They do. Wow. Which I dig. <laughs> Which I like. You're all for that. I'm, I'm, I'm up for that. <laughs> but she doesn't have, like, real big cans. It looks like she has real breasts, you know. Really? Which is something I'm almost not used to seeing. It's nice. Well, that's what happens when they put the real girls in uh, Playboy. You see real breasts. That's right. And it surprises you. <laughs> Shocks you. <laughs> Shocks you. <laughs> so I saw the pictures, and uh, she looks pretty good. She's got a pretty kick-ass little body. But you never know with Playboy, because sometimes they kind of airbrush stuff. So, you know. How's the face? It looks good. It looks nice in the pictures, but she don't look like her. In fact, at first I was like, I don't even know if this is her. Really? They've dolled yeah. her up so much you don't even recognize her? Yeah. 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 Hmm. Well, who knows? Is it a good thing or a bad thing? Who cares? <laughs> Oh, boy, I'm tired. You've been tired since we started. In fact, you were tired yesterday. Yeah. It's my new workout routine. What's that? I run sprints. Wind sprints. Wind sprints. What is oh. that? I've always heard that term, thought it was a cute term, don't know what it is. Well, I go and I run two. Like yesterday, I ran four 440s oh. at top speed, which for me isn't very so fast, but you can get out. done you all out. Four 440s. And how many times do you do that? Four times. Is there a break? Uh, as soon as your pulse gets down to 120, you, you go do it again. again. Yeah. Those are wind sprints. Yeah, those are wind sprints. Those are winded sprints. <laughs> uh, it, it's, it's not pretty. <laughs> and where do you do this? I do it uh, in different places. Yeah. Yeah. Because I'm just, are you on a track or a yeah, track? Yeah, track. A track. Cement, or? cement tracks, anywhere. <laughs> you name it. <laughs> It's torture. It's torturous, and, I, and it, it wears me out. I need to go to bed at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. So after you do this, you go to bed? I go to bed. I go right to bed after the show. I do. I go back in my office, and I sleep. Oh. It's unbelievable. And how many Very times difficult. a week do you do this? Five days a week. Here's really? what I do. Here's what I do. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, I ran four 440s. Four uh -huh. But you don't have to run a couple of miles. After no, doing no. And then, uh, like today, I'll run two 1,000 meters. Very long. What do you run a 440 in? Are you going for speed or not necessarily? Not for speed, for pulse. I just try to get my pulse. Like yesterday, my pulse was up to about 169. You know, it's and his heart almost burst. But it's still hard. My heart and my heart burst. <laughs> but a 440 takes you what? About a minute and ten or something? No, minutes. no. But actually, from, I'm very slow. I'm like a minute thirty. But that's okay. But that's yeah. still a short time. But you run in full tilt. Full tilt. Full tilt. Full tilt boogie. Full tilt boogie. <laughs> then uh, you run two 
one thousand meters. Now, are you are you economic in your movies? Are you flailing? No, I'm economic. Okay. I'd like to see that. <laughs> it's not. It's it's. Listen, there's nothing to see. It's awful. It's just awful. It's just running. By the fourth one, you must be ready. Oh, I want to. I want to. I want to beat you. Yeah, what's the interval time? Like you do, if you want to. As soon as he gets down to one twenty. Because my pulse gets down to one twenty, which there. takes about a minute to get down. So it's a minute between runs. So how many in, how many in total in a row do you do? Say you know four. And then that's your that's your running workout. That's my running workout for that day. And yeah. the next day you do two one thousand meters, full full out. And what is that supposed to be doing for you? Just is it making you thinner? I don't know. No, it gets you, get you faster. I don't know what it's doing. I yeah. just do what they tell me. And then you repeat that for the next two days. You take Friday off, and then Saturday you run six eight miles, something like that. And then you run two two twenties after the eight so miles. So you do distance on the week. Right. Yes. And then these yeah. On and I still look like hell. I never understand. You would think that I would look as good as Bon Jovi and Richie Sambora. I should, right? Oh, yeah. I just don't. See, My never, body doesn't respond to exercise. I never understand. Like, I was talking to your trainer the other day, and I was telling him something I was doing, and then he told me to do some other stuff. And I'm doing it. I don't know if it works, but, like, when, before I run, I stretch. Then I, he makes me walk for three or four minutes. Yes. Right. I get off and stretch again. Yes. And then start running. That's good. That's, uh... That's wise. I just don't have the time. Exactly. I was going to say, that's time consuming. Yeah. You don't have that kind <laughs> yeah, of time. Exactly. Yeah, it's too time consuming. Um... Can I just uh, bring something up, Howard, talking about that Casey thing we were just talking about? Yes. About the float and everything? Yes. So in the middle of that, uh, we got a phone call from the folks at i1.com. Yes. And they said, uh, you know, since they pay people for doing what they do anyway, mm -hmm. searching on the web, right. they would like to pay KC $2,000 to get on that float. On the gay float in That's Chicago. Right. That's three. That's three grand. Yeah. That's a whole different story. <laughs> That's a whole How bigger. gay are you? Will you be gay for three thousand? Hey Casey, three grand. Would you be gay for the <laughs> three grand? I'll kick it a hundred. Strap it on, buddy. Three thousand now, bro. Three grand? Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's a lot of loot right there. Yeah. Right, that's pretty nice. Hey, you were gay talking cash. about that? That was your cutoff. That's point, gay man. cash, bro. You see, the thing is, man, I right now I need it. A little strapped. You know what I'm saying? So go for it. A little strapped on. But still, you know, it's, it's the pride factor, though. You know, 3,000. You know what? You can Listen. star for pride. What, what do you mean pride? What is it that you're afraid of? Are you afraid that you'll be gay if you go on the no, gay it's float? A, yeah, it's, it's, it's like, it's kind of like I'm a, I'm a performing monkey. You, you, know are. Mean? They look you are anyway. Who isn't? We all are, man. Everyone sits well, in their car going to work is a performing monkey. I'm not gay. It's, not, it's like mm -hmm. going up, you know. We all perform one way or another. Is there a person in this room, aside from Howard, maybe, is there a person in this room who has never done something or that just was just for the money? You're just doing it for the money. Yeah, but you know, it's kind of like. Just take the money. I'm, I'm kind of be like a whore, don't you think? No, you're just uptight yeah, about being gay. Aside from Howard, we've all done things for the money. Yeah. Right. I don't know. I don't know if Howard's ever done it just for the money. You think those. Uh, he wanted to be at a supermarket opening. Right. Yeah. Okay, there you go. I've had to do a lot of right. stuff and eat crow. Eat crow? That's right. It's an expression. <laughs> he doesn't even understand. He was like, eat crow? You had to eat a crow? <laughs> oh, you eat a crow, that. dude? Dude, where did you grow up? <laughs> what? I never heard of him. He was like, what? You ate a crow? <laughs> yeah, I ate a crow, man. They gave me, they gave me $500. I ate a crow. <laughs> no, you eat crow. It's an expression. I never heard of him before. No, you haven't heard a lot of things and before. Did, and he went to school in the South, mind you. So yeah. You ever heard that expression? Eat crow. Oh, well, he grew up on Long Island. All right. Yeah. I want to give you two grand to eat a crow. All right, dude. Are you doing it for three grand or not? Give us the answer. Yes or no? Yeah! It shouldn't be tough at all. Casey, really, just do it. Do you think I should? You know what? It's like everybody's in on it now. Nobody's going to think you're gay. Three grand is three grand, and you could use it. What the hell? I got my pride, man. I can't do it. Oh, oh that's stupid. stupid. You are dumb. I might be. I might be, but... You know, I said I wasn't going to do it, and now just because they, well, you know, it's Absolutely. a lot of money, though. Yeah, what do you care? Look at you, man. You're full of angst. $1,000. What am I <laughs> full of angst? Just because, I mean, dude, what's the big deal if you sit in a gay parade? What, what a gay parade? I don't care about it. good way won't do it for 1000 No, because I'm on a float. It's not like I'm going. So what? You're, so you're going and you're on a float. You're supporting uh, the gay parade. That's all. It doesn't mean you're gay. So, I, think, so, I, think, I think the fact <clears> that we've spoken about it on the air... And most people will know that you're not gay it goes a lot farther than if you just showed up on a float. Which I don't, don't you I wear don't... a big sign that says, I'm not gay, but I support gay. Right. Yeah. I don't Good care. Lord. I don't care if you people think I'm gay. All right? Okay, so you can go on the float. I, you got to work out with, within would, yourself. Would you, me. Right. Would, you wear the, would you wear the shirt with the pink triangle that says Silence Before Death? No, I would not wear that shirt. Why not? Why? Because I... South equals death. Yeah, because I'm not gay, though. You know? Yeah, all, right, so, all right. So listen yeah. to this. I think you are. But that's the, that's something else. This is the thing. Would you go to the St. Yeah. Patrick's Day parade? Go ahead. Go on a float. Yeah, and I'm paid for this. No, go ahead. No, no, no. Just oh, go not paid. Not right, paid. Go, go on a float. 
just because someone asked you to do it, no. not because you're Irish. No. Not, you have nothing against Irish no. people. No. You're not Irish. So you feel I like wouldn't you're, do it. But, pain but if you pay everything. me, it's different. It's a job. Yes. Yeah, that's true. 3, it's a job. Who can cares? I, so, I, someone wants a celebrity to appear at the... Uh, what, like, like Sharon Stone goes to the Amphar to support AIDS charities, but she's not gay. Yeah, but she probably believes in the in the cause. Yeah. You don't believe I, well, you know what? what is I it? Do. You're having Dude, a I, You know what? I don't even care about this. Do you want to do it or not? Here's your last chance. $3,000. Man, it's tough. I, it's three grand. It's a no-brainer. And you got no power. Can, I, can, can I think that. about it? It's a no-brainer. You got no brain. You hear what Jackie said. <laughs> can I think about it? <laughs> no. I, 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 I need an answer right now. Right That's now. the fun of it. You better say yes. Um, <laughs> silly. Man. What is your fear, dude? I wonder who's paging him. No, I, I, I thought I heard it, but I didn't. Oh, his girlfriend. Exactly. Don't do it. I'll bring my girlfriend with me. Yeah, have her up on the floor with you. Yeah, right. And you guys yeah, will look at her up. Hold the 3000 before you get home. Put a bag over your head. You know what? I need that money. Go. I, I do. I told you he was gay, Alex. Oh. So you're doing it? I, I don't know. I, I'm not doing it. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Pissing you off. You know, I don't on. care. I'm just telling you. It's the offer's off the table once you uh, once you leave Walk here. Yeah, where's the struggle? I'm done with it. Where's the struggle? Yeah, what is the struggle? The struggle is, like, you know, it's like I said. I, I have nothing against gay people. In fact, yeah, we heard that a million times. Oh, my I don't friends are gay. But the fact that now what I'm saying is, I'm saying, look, I'm on a gay float. I'm a, I'm a gay lord. Yeah. I'm gay. <laughs> no, you're not. No, you're not. not. Yeah, but not. when you and see, and I was say, like, anybody can pay me to do anything. That's the thing well, I don't like. Here's a perfect example. When you see Giuliani at the Puerto Rican Day Parade on the float, do you say he's Puerto Rican? No. All right, so you know what? I'm going to talk to these people. I'm going to find out exactly what i got to do. You're insecure, man. Wow. <laughs> man, you are a douche. And look at how nervous he gets now. His leg's shaking again. Yeah. Dominic Barber is on there. What is this? A dozen thousand dollars. That's four thousand. All he has to do is have Ralph sit on his lap. <laughs> four thousand, you could uh, another thousand if Ralph sits on your lap. You know, Ralph once dressed up like a woman and went down to the Holland Tunnel. I went to the gay pride parade in a, in a, in a farm. Right. Yeah. That's yeah. it. And, and you know what? I'll even forget Ralph. A thousand for G string if you do it. Oh, uh, forget in that. In a G string. Forget ah. that. No way. Ah, that four thousand dollars. Remember how much money you lost in that deal when I represented you? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. What deal? You know what? Casey got involved in one of those things where he was apartment hunting, mm -hmm. and he signed to get one place, but then he got a better place. And right. He didn't get out of the first deal, and he lo and he gave a lot no, of money. No, that wasn't it. They screwed me royally. But yeah, anyway, I know. He lost money. How much actually, did you lose? What, actually, what they did was he, he rented an apartment from a guy at a street corner. No, that's we not never true. Saw again. <laughs> that's not true. But I, he, lost, he lost a, a lot of money to Casey. Yeah, just Dominic, uh, dishonest. That's it's an extra thousand if he wears a thong. Absolutely. Wow. No, I'm not wearing a thong. I'm, I'm not, not wearing a thong. Three thousand without the thong, four thousand with the thong. I'm not wearing a thong. All right. Thank you, Dominic. Bye bye. Thank you, Dominic. Crazy cabby, go ahead. Three grand, I'll get on that float. You're damn right you would. I need the cash, man. I'll wear a thong. Of course. Well, we know for ten thousand, you uh, well, yeah, you we, you give a guy a uh, hand manipulation. Hey, Casey, you know what? You have to almost think about it in terms of like, okay, I know you need a new bed. That's out of the way. You clear your credit cards I off. Need rent is what. what right, the no, you, and you need, and you got rent. And you got rent. So you can pay your rent for the next four or five months. Clear off your credit cards and buy a new bed. No, no, mm -hmm. what? Two, Casey, two you get and you can get a date and buy a house. You have a beer and you laugh. <laughs> Yeah. You're set for life. Right. Casey, uh, I, I paid that dumb videotape for Christ's sake. Yeah, it's so silly. Take the money. Right. Yes. You should seriously consider what's wrong with you. Leanne, what is it? I want to tell him to take the money. Right. Yo, my brother said the same thing. He's like, you're stupid if you don't say it. Of course. Right. And you can't see that. Three grand, man. That's a lot of money. John, go ahead. Howard. Yeah. What's up, buddy? I can't believe he's turning down all this money. I know. Meanwhile, all right, listen. Meanwhile, for a hundred bucks, you can get him knocked like a circus seal in the men's bathroom at the YMCA. Right. Oh. Shut up. Oh. What are you doing? I, I want an answer right now because um, i got to move on. I have a whole show to do. Yes, take the money now, or no, don't take the money. But give me your decision, and then all the money's off the table. <laughs> all right, screw it. I'll do it. You'll do it. All right. Smart man. Thank you, I1.com. Yeah, yeah thank, that's very nice of you guys. Thank you for doing that. Well, they said they just... Well, you know what? i got I, I to talk to these guys. Have if they want me... him on a gay float. I know. This is so to... great. No, if they want me to do something stupid, well, I'm wait, not doing wait, it. Don't you have to run out of here and buy a pink T-shirt? What I'm doing oh. is... What I'm going to do is... What are you going to wear? I'm going to sit there. I'm going to wear right, what, what are you, right you going to wear? I'm going to wave. What are you going to wear? We're I'm going to wear what I'm wearing right now. What, your Oakland Raiders T-shirt? I'm 
I'm going to wear a T-shirt, depending on the weather, I'll probably wear a pair of jeans. That's it. Right. No shorts. Tight jeans. And uh, what is it, that, Tom? Those microphones don't work. You're going to have to walk over here. Hey, Alan. Right. I don't know about Chicago, but we're going to get three grand worth of <laughs> What is it, Tom? Because I know he needs the money. Uh, I'll throw in another thousand if he does it. He's doing it. He already agreed. Oh, that's great. Too late. Oh. All right, you're up to four thousand. You get it. All right. Tom gave you a thousand. He already agreed. Thank you very much. She just gave up a thousand for nothing. You know what? I do it in my office. By the time I ran down here, I guess he must have said yes. Yeah. Well, that's very generous. I would have made the offer. You would have made the offer anyway. So, something weird's happened to Tom. He's been incredibly generous lately. You know, I go have you asked for a raise? No, but uh, if, no. You go, if you go to ask even stuff for the show. Mm. The answer hasn't been no lately. I think he had a religious experience. I don't know, but he's been very, wow. he's been very. Yeah, what's your problem wow. giving away a thousand dollars like that? You know, maybe something no, has know. happened to Tom because one morning he saw me in the coffee room. He's like Rudy Giuliani. You know what, Robin? The other day I was thinking about you and I had very warm thoughts. Yes. I, 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 listen, no offense, it's because of the chemotherapy and cancer. Yeah, believe me, it's a whole new Tom. So I was thinking about it last night. I, I almost died, and now I want to make friends. I People are. I want to make connections. You must be at a psychiatrist. Did you go to psychiatrist after you had chemo? No. No. Is that usually what happens? Yeah, See, I was. I realize I need people. <laughs> Howard, I was trying to figure out. Like, yeah. Tom, Tom's really out. been very good to the show, mm -hmm. for the money and stuff. And I, I was thinking, did Tom have like a religious experience, or is it your contract is up soon? Are they trying to make us happy? I was trying to think of all the reasons it, why. I don't think it's the contract. Oh. Yeah, it's just it's, it's just a conversion. And what's going on, Tom? There's nothing going on that I that I know of. Really? I just. It's the new Tom. In fact, in fact, you know what he did that was insane? I like the old Tom. What happened to him? You know what he did that was insane? That was what? A, um, I don't know if I could talk about this. I think some people in the company got bonuses this year. Really? Which is unheard yeah, of. That's unheard of. <laughs> that's so on Tom like. Wait till Sumner Redstone hears about this. Uh, no wonder. Are you getting laid or something? You have a girlfriend? What's going on? I have, I have no. I have my wife of almost 24 years. Right. And you're all right with that. I'm all right. All right. Wow. Well, thank you for the extra thousand. Yeah, Tom, thank welcome. you very much. Hey, you know, hey, Howard, I'm going to turn it into a lot more money. You know what I'm going to do? What? I'm going to take 500 of that, and I'm going to bet it on the horses. Oh. Yeah, oh. Yeah, yeah. You know, can I take half of my thousand back? It's what a waste. No, <laughs> I'm, I'm, going to, I'm going to turn it into a lot more money. You want? Why don't you just Why don't you just put it in some stock or something? No, no. How come that, that hasn't this worked is for you wicked. so far? <laughs> but not because now I know what I'm doing. He uh, loves a pony, you know, Howard. Sometimes he really scares me. He's at OTB all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Did you know the guy story who has what he no did to money? me? Right. What? I gave him two horses to go next door and play. He went over there. It was next door. He bet the wrong two horses, and they came in. No, it, it wasn't my yeah. fault. It wasn't my mean, fault. It was it's just the guy printed the ticket wrong. No, 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 no. The guy, it was It was like Jackie gives it to me with two seconds left in the I'm race. I'm sitting in the bar. I won. 500 bucks. No, no, it wasn't that much. And I, it's a 10-4, and the guy gave me back like 10-2 or something like that. Jackie blamed me. Well, of course. He gave you the money to go bet. Two dollar bet. All right. Casey, what is the gay parade you're appearing at? It's in Chicago. When? Uh, it's it's uh, the weekend of the DFP. The dysfunctional okay. family picnic. Yeah, it's that uh, that's, Sunday. That's June 25th. June 24th is a Saturday. June 24th, you'll be on the gay float? Yeah, uh, CKG uh, Chicago. WCKG in Chicago is uh, sponsoring that? Right. All right, there he is. Casey will be on the gay float. $4,000 you get there. Great trip, homo. It's very Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Come on. Give him a kiss. Uh, <laughs> nobody that was back. all too natural. I knew it. <laughs> Good for you, Casey. All right. There you go. And Tom, right. thank you. And Gary and Stirring Gun and everyone else. All right. Thank you. I1.com. I1.com. Thank you. I'm a homo.com. <laughs> You'll never get You've got to put it on the horse. No wonder he has no Have horse. a good time at the gay parade. <laughs> <laughs> yes, gay Ramon. Hey, Casey, can I go on that float with you, buddy? Once you go on the gay float? How much you got? Yeah, I want to be on that gay float with, uh, with Casey, please. I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> well, what can I tell you? That's exciting news. <laughs> I wish I could be there to see oh, that. we got to go. we got to have footage. Surprise, motherfucker. Who you with? My name. Yes, your name. Pardon? Come again. Um, I mean, what is your name? Your name, your name. I forget. My name I call for you now. Call it again. Spillum. Holy Jesus. What is that? What the fuck is that?
<laughs> Gary, do you want Casey to tell the story? I don't know what the story is, but Gary said this is something happened to Casey yesterday, and we got to right. talk about it on the air. And would I trust him to just bring it up? Yeah. What is it? You know, he's an amazing guy because because then I want to read about Ann H and Ellen DeGeneres. I got a great article on that. Casey's an amazing guy because you you would think that he would recognize this right away as a great story for the air, hmm. and he's telling me yesterday. And he's asking me if this ever happened to me. Okay. So he says, listen, man, because if something weird happened. Where is night, he? Is he not going to he, He's coming down. Right, I'd, okay. I'd rather tell you that he can, right. he can fill in the blanks. There's something weird happened to me. He goes, something weird happened to me. He goes, I'm laying in bed with my girlfriend, and uh, I had a, I'll tell you the best way I can, I had a, a, an accident, a number one accident, mm -hmm. all over the bed. Laying in bed. Yeah. He was not asleep. Awake. He was asleep. He was asleep. He was asleep. And he basically, he basically. He went to bed. He went to bed. No. And, um. And he said he yeah, the accident was in a sexual. No, no, no. Yeah, he was yeah. asleep and he went to bed. And his girl. He, at one point, he said he, he nudged his girlfriend and he said, uh, "You know, I think I went to bed." And she goes, "You know what? I'm not in the mood for your stupid jokes right now because I guess he's always kidding around." Mm. And he didn't. And I, have you ever went to bed as an never, adult? Never, never, never as a child or as an adult. Well, I did as a child. I Yo. thought you had the. Never. No, I never went to bed. Oh, that was a problem with your other. Yo, yo, Howard. I think I. <laughs> what? I, what do you mean? up your underwear. So yeah, oh yeah, yeah. I never did it in bed though. Rob. And Casey, I asked him, the first thing I asked him was, was he drinking? And he goes, no, I don't drink during the week. I Dude, think, what happened? You were laying I, in bed, were you asleep? I think what? I'm losing my mind, man. Hey, I was sleeping. Because you know what, this guy's nuts. He tells me he leaves, you know, I, this is this is the scariest part of the bachelor party. People think it was Benji, it wasn't. This guy, I'm trying to talk to him. I even talked to Ralph about this. I said, you know, I tried to talk to Casey at the bachelor party and the guy's just uncommunicative. I was trying to hang with him like a regular guy. He goes, yeah. Regular. He was oddly silent. And then I said to him, why'd you leave the party so quick? After 20 minutes, he goes, I get anxiety attacks. Sometimes. He told it's me, like, wait, wait, wait. He told me that one what, time. What do you mean an anxiety wait. attack? Hold it. I want to hear from you. What do you mean an anxiety attack? What happened at the yeah, bachelor party? I, I, I get these thoughts where I just, I have to leave where I am. Like, what, like one time I was in a, uh, I was looking at apartments. Yeah. Right? And I get these really weird thoughts. Like, uh, it was a strange guy. I didn't know the guy. So I was looking to rent his place. Mm. And, uh. I got this thought that he had put something in the air that he was immune to, that somehow he was poisoning me. You know okay. What I'm and what about at the bachelor party? What were you thinking? I, it's weird. It's like sometimes I feel like, uh, you know, my, I, I can't really breathe. You know what I'm saying? And I just have to leave. It's like it, maybe I was poisoned or something like that. Oh, you thought someone put something in your drink? Maybe. You know, I, it's just it's one of those weird things. It's like, you know, I, I think I'm going to die. He's a paranoid. He told me he checked himself to a hospital once. Yeah, it was, that was a weird thing. Is that what you'd call that, a paranoid? Yeah, well, hmm. he thinks somebody's trying to poison him. He walked into a, but wait a minute, he walked into a house and someone put poison in the air. Yeah. Yeah, but that's, it was a weird thought. And after, it's like, I, that can't happen. And it was really weird because I had a... <laughs> I, I don't want to go to a therapist. I had a, I had a, yeah. I, I had a knife in my pocket, right? And I was like, you know what? I was grabbing at the thing. I was like, you know what? This guy didn't do anything to me, but I really have to. You're going to end up killing somebody. That's no, right. That's one right. of these days you won't realize the dog isn't talking to you. You know, why do you carry a knife? Yeah, by the way, he went to Chicago to do an appearance, and he brought a knife with him, and, they, and didn't they stop you at the airport with the knife? Yeah, but that's, you know what? They, they never stopped me before. I just had it in my pocket, and they... You had a knife you in your pocket, and they never stopped. Howard, it's a, it's a relatively big knife, and it's serrated. And the guys from Chicago how did you get through the metal detector? Told me they were, OJ knife. They how told me they were shocked that he got from New York to Chicago with no, it. I, I, it's been, I, I've taken it all over. Let me ask you a question. The blade is not as long, but since but it's is jagged. It, but when they, don't, they have, don't you have to empty your pockets yeah. when you go on the plane? Yeah, and they, it's fine, because they, they have a, a measure uh, to see how long the blade can be. Huh? And, and it, oh, my God. My mom once went traveling with me, and she brought an apple with her, and she likes to cut her apple, so she brought a little kitchen knife. They, they told her absolutely not. They confiscated the whole thing. So no, that's because it, it's got to have a, it, it can have a straight edge, but it can't have a jagged edge. That's no. all. Told me. I and never heard of and this. Because no. you could cut wires with it, I guess. <laughs> but it's weird. They never stopped me before. Now they, they Why would you be bringing a knife on a plane? <laughs> it's just I, I have it. Poison no, it. I have it in my pocket. Do you carry it all the time? Pretty much. Yeah, what, it's in, what, my, in my pocket. Like for protection and stuff. Well, just so you're telling me when you were at the bachelor party. You started to think that someone was trying to like put well, drugs in your maybe it's 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 something that all these you know these weird things but that you, you think what who would be there that's going to put I have you? I have no idea and that's the thing that drives me thank nuts God you're good looking you'd never get a girl why did you check yourself into a hospital what was that interesting I thought I was dead I thought I was about to die because I I had uh, I couldn't breathe mm -hmm. and I and I, I I you know dude you don't know you have problems I know I do I, I now with this thing that happened the other night I'm at my wits end I at the did end you of the road. did you wet the bed <laughs> I couldn't believe it what do you, I'm fully wet it, dude. I woke. What up. happened when your girlfriend woke up? Then you realize you wet the bed because it must have smelled like urine. Wow. No, I, 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 I it's like, um, you know, I, I tried to wake her up, and she oh, said, "I'm not in the mood for your jokes right now." And then, uh, <laughs> that, that some a, joke. That could be a case of joke. Uh, yeah. yeah. So then, eventually, I got up, and then she, uh, 
you know, she ran and I, I changed the stu the sheets, right? How do you change it? Oh, when well, she got up. I have those egg crates. You know what the egg crates are? Yeah. Underneath the bed that yeah. make it softer. Oh, so the... Oh. So it, it leaked down into that. Into the mattress, oh. yeah. I had to rip that off and uh, and put the put the sheet on it. And she told me she told me the other day that when she was walking back, she stepped on my wet underwear. Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Dude, I, I know. I, it's still I she stays. Dude, are you on any medication? No. What you should be, Howard. Are you a doctor? You know, I, I was having anxiety attacks, Howard. And I, I, ever since I've been going to the therapist, I've been, I haven't had one in a while. But I, what kind of anxiety attack do you have? You know, he wound up in the hospital. Yeah, I went in the hospital. I, I had an ambulance like bring me. But what's wrong with you? Because I, because I, I, you know, I couldn't breathe. I was having problems. Having problems uh, breathing. Yeah, but maybe you got something wrong with you. No, wasn't that, no, wasn't no. that over monetary he, stuff? Wasn't it? Was it? Yeah, I was getting all stressed out. Yeah, but, but Casey's having... delusional. He but thinks people are trying to poison him. That's, that's crazy. That, yeah, but, but now I realize, you know. They're not trying to poison me, but at the time... But you, Howard, that's not... I mean, he's got a problem. He, he, yeah, wait, Dominic, what is this it? This isn't simple. Yeah, Dominic, what's up? I want to ask Casey whether his mother or her brothers or her side of family had, had an illness like this. No, not at all. No one ever had any hospitalizations? No, not nothing mental. No, I don't know what happened to me. I don't know. His dad had a weird thing with him. Yeah. His dad was like a football coach or a wrestling coach and forced him to do yeah, stuff. Yeah, Dominic it's, it's, is looking for a hereditary... I know. Like I, mental illness. You got to assume that the peeing was some sort of way in his mind of saying he didn't want the woman there. Oh, stop oh, wow. it! Oh, come on, get out! No, but see, that's not a bad point. See, that's like guys who smoke cigars. <laughs> no, that's like guys who smoke cigars. They always go, "You want to get chicks?" And guys, that's and the biggest turnoff. The biggest, smelliest Chase thing you can think. That looks like a penis. Did you did you ever like have a dream and you kind of are tricked in your dream? Like your mind is tricking you. To think that no. If you have to go to the bathroom, here's a toilet. You I've a million times, a million times, I've had to go to the bathroom. I, I wake up all night going to the bathroom because I drink so much water, but I've never peed the bed. I couldn't believe it. I, I have wow. no idea what. Were that Were you means. dreaming of being in the bathroom? No, but I remember as a kid, that's what used to trick me. That's that's when I he was no, he used to trick him. <laughs> they used to trick you. Your own yeah. mind tricked you. Yeah, and sometimes I <laughs> wake up. No, so I, I told you this one day. Sometimes tricked I wake up. You got tricked by yourself. <laughs> he beat himself. No, no, yeah. and I don't know what time I'm supposed to get up. Dude, you're like Ann Hage. Did you read this article? <laughs> but, guys, you got to listen to this. I got to read this to you. Ann Hage, right here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> More de This is from uh, the Seattle Times. Okay. <laughs> More details are emerging about Anne H.'s Sunday adventure in Fresno. Note, we said details and not facts. What we know for sure, the day after she and Ellen DeGeneres announced their amicable parting, Anne had car trouble and was hospitalized after knocking on a stranger's door about a mile away and saying odd things. Now, don't you get hospitalized when you have car trouble? <laughs> Wait, listen to this. <laughs> so you don't know what odd things she said, right? Right. Fresno's NBC affiliate, KCTV, Casey TV, <laughs> quoted a police report saying the actress, wearing only a bra, shorts, and shoes, told a deputy she was God and was going to take everyone to heaven with her on some sort of spaceship. And they let her out? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Wow. She was only in the hospital an hour, Casey. The person whose house Ann went to told the station she was saying a lot of funny things. She even put a pair of my slippers on, and she made me put a pair of slippers on, too. Let's <laughs> <laughs> all wear slippers. Can you imagine inviting that into your house? It sounds like the Cindy Margolis show. <laughs> hey! hey, it's a pajama party! Java party! <laughs> Whip Kitty! Whip Kitty! Woo! Hey, Scrib! You're hot! <laughs> the film's pro oh, so she's working on the film. The film's producer says. <laughs> wait, wait. The Fresno B newspaper's website cited. Unnamed sources saying that she appeared to be under the influence of a substance, most likely the drug ecstasy. <laughs> the film's producer says Anne's behavior was due to sunstroke. <laughs> <laughs> she was in a convertible and ran out of gas, so she was in the sun too long. Her neck and shoulders are still badly, badly burnt. You know, you embarrass. And whenever I get sunstroke, I think I'm gone. <laughs> and as weird as that story is, the second story on here is weirder. Woody Allen and Sunyi Previn are parents again. Yeah. Boom, end no! the sentence. No! Woody, 64, and Sunyi, 29, have adopted a second daughter. Anybody read the allegations? Me and Arrow, uh... No, I, I meant to ask you, really, how does he get a baby? 
because he's not going to. You, but you have to be squeaky clean mm. to go through any kind not of agency. Not if you go, he's not no. going through an agency. Yeah. Look, look how quickly Rosie got our kids, right? Yeah. Yeah. Rosie never did anything wrong. Who knows? But well, they don't go to agencies. Yeah. Who knows? Who knows what goes on when she stays at the Four Seasons Hotel? And, and Howard, you know what else is weird? You talk about people acting weird. Uh, did you see that uh, that letter? Have a funny. One of our fans was arrested in San Diego. He was found naked running around a neighborhood saying he was Jesus Christ and Howard Stern. Yeah, that was just in the paper. Oh, nobody we know that. No, no. Oh, they arrested a guy saying he was Jesus and Howard Stern. But he was naked. How could you yeah. be no. <laughs> Make up your mind. Yeah. Well, if you were Howard Stern, you wouldn't be naked. <laughs> Trust me. Bob, go ahead. Hey, can someone please find the key to cl Casey's closet door and open it so you can get out, please? Yeah, well, you know, you That's got a point. what the problem is. That has nothing to do I with it. I think if you recognize your homosexuality. I'm not homosexual. I just don't like guys. What do you, you want to do? Well, you don't no. have to like guys. like penis. Go down to the store. No, I, I, don't, I don't find men attractive. Something's bothering you. Yeah, right? it is. You're yeah. awfully up about something. Something's right. really bothering you, and if I was the reason you don't want to get a shrink, you're afraid to find out. Yeah. No, I would. I would, I would I'd actually welcome it, but I've been there, and they're not going to help me, and they're not. They're just, they can't happen. The, 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 the reason why they yourself. What can't happen? That he could help you. I've been to a couple of them, and none of them ever helped. You can be helped. Not just yeah, out a, probably in the boonies. A, a social problem, Howard. This is a psychological problem. Yeah. Not even a psych. There is a physical brain problem. Something's out of whack. Oh, really? I wow. think that he's much. Maybe he's got a tumor. You think he's bipolar? Worse. Then. Now, I, that would be easy. I think he's tri But <laughs> well, you know what, Howard? I, like, everyone's joking about Casey's gay. I genuinely don't believe he's gay, but I do believe that there's something that needs to be unlocked yeah. that yes. would make him there's something going be on. much more normal. And free, something, he needs to be freed of something. Yeah, Trust I mean, me. I mean, send I mean, him, down, God, like send him down to the vault. No, no, but there's something, there's something that's, that's... No, you don't need God. God's just another crush. Yeah, if you find that guy, I want to have a couple of questions with him. I want to sit down with Who, him. Oh, God? Yeah. 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 I, I got a few questions I want to ask him. Ask the questions. You know, it could be simple. It could just be stupid. What question do you want? Wait a second. What question do you want to ask God? Why he screwed everything up? Yeah, go ahead, Rob. <laughs> anybody wound as tight as no. Casey, as young as no, he is? No, no. I mean, sure. there's nothing in his life yet yep. for him to be this upset. But, yeah. but, but I, I was trying to talk to him about his anxiety attacks, and he doesn't he doesn't want to open up at all. Something yeah, happened between him so and his dad. Oh, stop with that. You know, you sound like one of those no, stupid but strings. No. It's definitely It's something. not stupid. So I have something to say, you know. Dude, you're so programmed by your dad. Yeah, I I I've already been to jail for I'll, I'll ask you one question. So how do you how do you explain, so you already went to anger management class. how do you explain the whole touching thing that, that yeah, you're you're um you can't be touched that you can't because you know about the rearview mirror on his desk right no you know about this oh yeah 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 yeah. he put a rearview mirror in so no one can sneak up behind him right. and touch him. you try and sit there be on the phone or something like that and someone come over and tap you which you're not expecting no but that's being bothered how one time <laughs> no one, has this one time matter. early on you try. you can see his reaction when yeah. he oh he gets really mad he jumps I know, I've touched, I've pat him on the back a few times, he gets all freaked. I did too, he jumps out of his skin, I yeah. felt bad. I mean, he sits me down. I don't mean to don't do it, him. but I just didn't know it was an issue. His reaction, the, his reaction when you touch him on the back is like as if you hid behind a door in a dark room and, and jumped out of him. Yeah. Yeah. All right, John has a question for Casey. Go ahead, John. Yo, Howard, how you doing? All right. Uh, Casey, I want to know if you ever crapped your pants, man. Oh, yeah, I did. <laughs> About five minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, I got, I just, he peed in his bed. And he wants everyone to know. I mean, can you believe that? Have you ever heard anything like that? No. Do you yeah, know from, anybody that's happened very to? sick people? Yeah, no, you have a lot of issues and problems. Is, you, is that a mental thing or yeah. is that physical? Yes. He thinks you, it's mental. weak to see a psychologist. Have you gone to a quality yeah. psychologist? Obviously like a, not. Psychologist, psychiatrist. No, psycho, he's, psychotherapist. He needs a psychotherapist. brain Psychotherapist. Five days a week. That's, that's what I went to. Yeah. Yeah. Psychotherapist. Where? You went to a psychotherapist? There was one in Kentucky. Oh, that's what I'm Kentucky. saying. Yeah. I, went to, I went to one here in Long Island. Would you get plastic surgery done in Kentucky? Would you get would, plastic, would get plastic surgery? surgery? The guy in Kentucky is a barber in his spare time. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Kentucky. <laughs> Dude, but that's then, not even the United States. Then, you know, you know, when I was a kid, I went to one here. <laughs> yeah, the school appointed one. Yeah. Yeah. Probably you never went to a quality guy. No, see, that, that's been my plan for so far, but now you know, I'm going to try something new. Here it is. It's on the table. What? Do something. Me? No, I'm saying that he said I'd have a. You should go. He hasn't thing. opened up yet. So now, now here it is. All right, what's gonna happen? Go ahead, open up. What's I you? just did. No, you didn't. You didn't say. I told him I did the pants thing. No, tell. Like, tell me what you thought of your father. I, I he's a great guy. Okay, no. what did he do to you? Tell Nothing. everybody. Tell the truth. What? Wait, wait, so, uh, want to open he, up? He wanted me to do well in athletics. Yeah. I did. And what, what did he do when he wanted you to do well in athletics? Wait, who's who's my coach? When you were on a football team, and well, your dad, you dad was your coach. Let me ask you something. Your dad was your coach. You see a no, problem no, with that? No, 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 no. Uh, when, no I, when I got up to problem with that. no, when I got up to varsity, he retired, so we wouldn't kill each other. Right. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. what was wrong that he might kill you? So don't you think there's a problem that your old man was sick, sitting there and pushing you? No, that's and riding no, you. No, that's that's because a parent that cares about his kid. Oh. We want to do that. All right.
Yeah, you got a lot to work on. No, you don't, you don't <laughs> believe that? Dude, you don't know you what it's like. You don't support what, your you, kids you, and what, what they do? Uh, Casey, what I don't, do you it's not a, need to leave because yeah. he might almost kill them. Right. Well, that's, that's more me because I'm, I'm, I'm head, head My, my kids not, and I don't almost kill each other. I got one for you, Howard. No. That's just my, that's my take on it. You think, you, you think your dad should want to, you think he should be safe and protected with a father rather than someone who humiliates you and wants to kill you? But who, who did that? Your dad. You just told you don't him. You know, man. You told me a million times off the air. I did not. Here you go. What did you, describe your summer every summer from the time you were a little kid till you were 18. What did you do every summer? I went to wrestling camp. What do you yeah. mean you went That's to wrestling camp? What does that my mean? My family had a business. All right, and what did your dad expect of you at wrestling camp? I was going to wrestle. All and right. didn't he you just, have to be the best? Dude, you're not opening up. Yeah, so I can't help you. So he was telling me that the, the day school ended, he had to pack up and go to wrestling camp, and they came back the day before school started, so he really didn't have summers, oh. and that his dad would make him wrestle with the older kids because it would make him tougher, but also he had to be there. It, basically, he worked the whole summer. Right. You know, your dad camp. was so protective of you. Well, I, I think I think that's uh, he, it makes you mentally tough. He thinks his that dad. Is. What his dad did for him was make him a great no, wrestler. No, no, no. He's no, a young he's not. Childhood. He's sitting here with us. He's not wrestling. He's not wrestling. Yeah, Joe, go ahead. For that. <laughs> Joe, you're on the air. You know, I feel so good about myself now, knowing that <laughs> all you people have mental illnesses. <laughs> But Casey's already went into bed. It's getting serious. Can you believe I mean, that? You know, young and he guy. had to leave the bachelor party because he he thinks people are trying to kill him. I know. I think it's crazy. <laughs> He's know. losing his mind. No, it's it's not that. It was, I, you know, it's happened once before. When I was in college. They uh, I had one of these attacks or whatever. And then in the middle of it, I remembered they sprayed my dorm for bugs. I'm like, they poisoned me. The bugs. It was the the spray. I inhaled the spray. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Listen to me. You want my advice? <laughs> Seriously, run. Don't walk to a doctor. It's it getting worse. Go with ben. It is getting it worse, Howard. No, it's a, I used to hate people. I used to really hate them and want to injure them. But now I don't anymore. I really don't. Right. You still have a streak of that, though. Howard, you guys are performing a public service. Yeah. <laughs> and us your tired Japool. Casey's the gay guy in American Beauty. What do you think? I think so. Absolutely. Uh, the next door neighbor? That military yeah. man, yeah. yeah. Hey, Howard, how about a laptop? No. <laughs> <laughs> right. We got to take a break, Casey. I hope everything's all right for you, but yeah. you really do need help. Thanks, pal. This you want, no you want to kiss me? Yeah. You feeling like you yeah, want to kiss I me? Know. I Go feel very it. open with you right now, right. and I want to hug you and grab Howard, your hand. Howard, even the way he talks, there's something wrong with <laughs> even that voice. Yeah. Who is the most mentally stable it? person in this room right now? This, this whole one. room. Uh, Who's the most mentally stable person? I look around the room and I can't decide. It's not you. Yes. No, no, Robin. You're very ill. No, I thought, I'm trying to think who, who could... Be stable in this group. No, you're not. Oh, like absolutely. A, you no. so don't see yourself. No. I almost want to go with... I am. You're so wired. I almost want to go with Jackie, but that's crazy. No, no you can't no, go Jackie with Jackie has a lot of problems. Jackie you can't go with Fred. You can't go Fred. You can't go with you. You can't go with you. You can't go Robin. Somebody. I think Gary. No, no way. No. In this room, it's Gary. Who's who's more mentally stable in this room than me? Uh, wait a minute. Exactly. I told you, it's me. You're crazy. Oh, Robin. <laughs> Robin, you don't even see no, yourself. I'm more I'd mentally stable than Gary. I probably see Jackie over there. No. I rest my gift. What's wrong with Gary? Gary, while we're deciding, shouldn't you sneak out and have a cigarette? <laughs> 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 no, I should just fund my wife's career by another house. Alan, mental yeah. health therapist, go ahead. Yeah, Casey, are you there? Yeah. Um, do you have these uh, thoughts, these 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 uh, intrusive thoughts, quite a bit? Do they and they tend to scare you, and you don't know where they're coming from? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know what it sounds like to me? See, he doesn't even know it's his head talking to him. Obsessive compulsive yeah. disorder. No, right. it's not. It's, no, it's, it's not. not. What do I do? It's an offshoot of that. What do I do? It's compulsive. I'm superstitious no, it's not. a little bit. Well, wait, 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 stop, stop. You just said he's superstitious. Well, like, why? Give me some of the superstitions. Uh, well, before I used to have a match, I would do the same stretching, yeah, and the same. I, I would say the, the same thing to the yes, uh, Before a game, I would uh, I would go through the same the same um, uh, you know plays and stuff like that. It's and, not how because sports is very no, sports is very that's, that's no no. The difference is he did it because he liked doing it as opposed to <laughs> you did. Jackie just snuck up on KC and. <laughs> Hey, Alan, you, thanks. You did it because you thought you were going to die. Let Alan talk. He's a professional. Right. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Well, Casey, you realize the thoughts are crazy. You right. have them anyway, and you have anxiety as a result of them. Mm -hmm. That's pretty much OCD. Yeah. And then some folks have the compulsions that go along with that. They try to undo it, right? You have you count or you oh, think about something doing. or whatever. So there is, there is medication that would fix that for you. See, well, wait they, a minute, they, they want to destroy you. They want, yeah. they want to kill you. They want to. Robin Rush. <laughs> right. You guys are trying to help me. the fact that he thinks that he's being poisoned? Well, it's okay, but see, the difference between that and psychotic stuff is uh -huh. he recognizes the thought is crazy. Right. That's OCD. Some of the obsessions can be about, like, there's one about a, a father who was 
uh, had obsessions about killing his baby with a hammer, but he didn't intend to do it. Yes, yeah, I get those too, but right. I know I would never do it. <laughs> right, that's the difference. Right. Oh, man. You know you wouldn't do it. So I, the I, point I, is, I you have OCD. I get right. weird thoughts like that, like the killing of, of a baby or something like that, but I know I would never do that. Right. That's yeah, right. That's that's everybody gets that's those what OCD thoughts. No, they don't. You give, you give it some No, they don't. They yeah, don't. You may not. You may not recognize the thought, but uh, it's, it's there. Do you ever lay in bed well, dreaming anyway, of choking your girlfriend to death? Not my girlfriend. She's nice. She's nice. She wouldn't do anything to you. Doctor, about getting on a uh, something like Paxil or an Afrinil, no no box. Oh. and it'll work. Nope. Yeah. Well, let me tell you something. You got big problems, son. Hey, tell me something I don't know, pal. All right. Well, thank you, Alan. He's going to talk to somebody, but he won't do it, Alan. No. no I would do it. I would do it. Yeah, right. You better go do it. I, well, yeah, like I said, you know. You just wet the bed. <laughs> I know. I think <laughs> How that's, far the, do we uh, that's have a to turning point. Yeah. I think there's something that needs yeah. to be done. All right. Oh, All good right. for you. Yeah. He's and finally admitting that he's going to... I'm waiting... I'm, I'm working on getting it up, too. I'm waiting for, <laughs> I'm waiting for Casey to start running down the hall yelling, I'm on fire. Let's see, Howard, now you see why he can't get up. What are you talking about, Howard? He's still all, all these problems before... You know what I mean? I'm just worried that it's going to get worse. And I don't want to lose you. I like you. You're a nice okay, guy. Can I ask you one question? Let me ask you one question. Before you have sex, do you have any of these... No, I, I, I have no problem yeah, but performing. Have, is there any, like, kind you, of ritual you, that you got to do? You should take tips from me, my friend. No, I'm asking. Do you have any... <laughs> I'm nice. Is there a ritual, like, an ex, anything you do in your head before you have sex? Be honest. No! 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 Me too. He's no! All right, we got to take a break. This is fascinating. <laughs> <laughs> That's room for that, <laughs> oh yeah, you, you guys. No, dude, you're, you're, you're really crazy. <laughs> All right. All right. We're gonna take I a break. I really worry about him. Yeah, yeah. you should. That you is should. Spring wound me. You should. Tight. And he's like twenty. What three? <laughs> How old are you, dude? Twenty-five. Oh, yeah. right, right. Kill somebody by twenty. <laughs> <laughs> no, I thought I was gonna years ago, but not anymore. I don't wow. feel that way anymore. Look on the bright side. Your life's about a third over. <laughs> I know. Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> you only got you only got fifty more years. I know. Do you All right. That crap? We'll be back right after this. Surprise, motherfucker. I walked in on Milk Crate and found him two knuckles deep in a van cup. Milky taught me how to grab them by those meaty tacos. Milky has more balls than my wife. Fuck Milk Crate Marauder, I approve this message. Casey wants to try out some new stand-up material. Okay. <laughs> We've been writing him stand-up material, Jackie and Fred have been working on stuff for him. Because he, he went to Caroline's and bombed, it's just he doesn't have the right material. Go ahead, g give it a whirl and see, see if, you, if you do good. You know what I hate about babysitting a young boy? Scraping the gum off my underwear. <laughs> I hate that. You know what's nice? When your boyfriend suggests a threesome, only he wants to bring a girl into the mix. I hate that. <laughs> you know what I hate? You just start having sex with the pizza boy, and your Judy Garland cassette tape breaks. <laughs> I hate that. See, this is your theme, like Red Buttons had, uh, I never got a roast. You could be, you know what I hate. You could be the, you know what I hate guy. Right. The guy who hates everything. Yeah, you're the guy who hates everything. <laughs> I hate friend Jackie. <laughs> you're hating what else do you hate? You know what I hate? When I'm banging a girl and accidentally call her Eddie. <laughs> I usually get upset and hit her and hurt my fist. I hate that. <laughs> You know what I hate? What? You're having a drink of water, and the toilet seat slams down on your head. I hate that. What else do you hate? Anyone besides me ever wonder if the Three Stooges were gay? Did Curly ever give Mo a Cleveland steamer? Um, I wonder about that. You gotta sell it, Casey. Sell it. You know what I hate? What do you hate? When I'm nude at a grade school recess, and it rains on my ball. <laughs> I hate that. See, that's your signature joke. Oh Everybody wants to hear that one. You should be keeping the ones we laugh loud as that. That's yeah. my Citizen Kane right there. Hey, all right. Howard, can't you see here performing in front of a Amazing. college crowd? And, the, and, and Casey goes, you know what I hate? And the whole crowd goes, what, what do you hate? hate? What do you right. Yeah. Dude, you can do what I hate. You can do 20 minutes on you know what I hate. Oh, exactly. And then you can be a whole thing. Yeah. What else do you hate? Okay, now, now he's getting the courage to go back up on stage. <laughs> Bomb is just thinking of opening for Jackie at the Comedy Palace in Andover. He's good. Oh, yeah. He's invited. You're going to do it? Oh, I, I, I don't know about you that, man. Do it. Friday night. Come on. Wait, hey, hey, drive up. He'll sleep with you. I don't know, man. Share a bed. What else you hate? What do you hate? You know what I hate? <laughs> what? When I'm just about to go lift weights and I get a run in my pantyhose. <laughs> I hate that. <laughs> You know what I hate? And you can come out and tell the audience that, you know, a lot of people have accused you of being a homo, and you're not even sure if you're one, and you've been wet in your bed lately, and I just hate everything about my life. You know what I hate about my life? And then you go and tell you know what I hate. And then go into this. Yeah, what do you hate? You know what I hate? What? 
when you're getting oral sex and the guy's wife looks in through the car window. I hate that. I hate that. Don't you hate that? You can't even answer. I hate, hate that. that. What else do you hate? You know what I hate? What? When you finally convince your mom to take nude pictures and you have no film the camera. I hate that. I hate that. You hate that so much. What else do you hate? You know what I hate? What? When your boyfriend pleases you from behind and wipes himself off on the drapes. I hate that. I ruined your drapes. <laughs> See, I like that joke. <laughs> yeah, Fred and Jackie are some sick bastards. What is it, Chris? Yeah, Chris? Hello? Oh, wait a second, my fault. Chris, you there? Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm here. Hey, you know what I hate? What? I hate a guy who puts on a faint voice and tries to act macho when he's really gay. You know what else I hate? Shut up! I hate when a guy spends a lot of time on his facial hair and makes believe he's straight when he's really queer. You know what I hate? Yeah, what? this is really good, man. You're really funny. It's, it's real original stuff that you're coming up with. It's good, you prick. And uh. they arm wrestle him for a PlayStation. Shut up! Go arm wrestle your mother, you punk. stupid son of a bitch. You want to arm wrestle? Panties on him. You want to arm wrestle this guy for a PlayStation? No, I don't want. I don't want to touch this hey, guy's listen, hand. No way, I ain't touching this guy's hand. Pounds, Shut up, I don't care who you are. Shut I the hell up. Be quiet. Be quiet. Leave me alone. There's a challenge this punk won't take. Shut up. He's a punk. Come take on. Him on. Go arm wrestle, you prick. Come on, I'm only 5'7". I weigh 100 I don't care how big you are. I don't want to touch you. I don't want to touch you. I don't want to be around you. Leave me alone. All right, thank you. Surprise, motherfucker. Casey. If, if you like, I can do a couple more. He's all confident now. You going to open for Jackie? I, I don't know about that, man. Let me hear. Let me hear you do some material. Doesn't he need money? Yeah, I do. Actually. Well, Jackie ain't going to pay him. Uh, hey, what do you pay him? I don't know. Well, we got Give him a hundred bucks. A oh, hundred bucks? <laughs> Uh, uh, for the for the public flogging, a hundred bucks. What do you want, stuttering Joe? No, I was gonna tell him. I, you know, I'll, you know, I'll pay him if he wants to do rascals of me. Yeah, yeah. How I much thought you Jackie got? was paying him. I'll give him fifty bucks. Oh. But no, but it's 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 both it's, it's, rascals. Tuesday night, Wednesday night, so fifty bucks each. Gig is a hundred bucks. I just, you put it that I way. Wouldn't it cost bucks, him, Casey? Wait a second, you guys are such. A, wouldn't it cost it's him so more cheap. money just to go down there? Fifty no, bucks in travel fare. No, he rides with me. Oh, you'll drive him. Yeah. But Jackie, 200 bucks, he's got to get to Andover. Well, you can come with me. And you'll put him up? Put him in my bed. room. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> he's been trying to get you for a long time, yeah, Casey. Yeah. Hey, suddenly you're a working comic. Yeah, right. I got a lot of offers. You're doing good. Let me hear some of your material. Okay, you know what I hate? What, what do you hate? Going home from a, club, a Cub Scout meeting with blue balls because my little pal had to go home to his mommy. <laughs> I hate that. Sell it. You know what I hate? What do you hate? I hate that. <laughs> you get into some dark material. Wow. You know what I hate? What? I hate? When a guy puts, a, puts out a cigarette on your ass and he won't even have the common courtesy to get you a beer from the fridge. <laughs> I hate that. <laughs> You know what I hate? What do you hate? When the washroom attendant makes you take the straw out of your mouth. <laughs> Go ahead. I hate that. John don't even get that. I know, because I, 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 I thought he said watch room. I didn't hear what he said. Watch room. Yeah. He's got to enunciate. You know what I hate? What? what? I hate? When the EMS technician stops giving you mouth to mouth, when you... Regain consciousness. I hate that. Yeah, you got to work on that. I know. One. I, I, he said he can't read. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I hate again? Uh, you know what I hate? If Einstein was such a genius, how come he didn't comb his hair and wear lipstick? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I hate? What? I hate it when strangers don't even know your name. I hate that. <laughs> You know, what, you know what I hate? Oh, I hate? After your proctologist finishes his exam, he kisses you on the back of your head. I hate that. Why would you hate that? You're a homo. Yeah, you love that. You know what I love? Hey, Jackie, yeah, Jackie, Fred, these the are kind of weak like right here. Oh, sorry. Uh, what? You know what I hate? What? <laughs> when you get something caught in your throat, and then his nuts hit you in the eye. Oh. <laughs> I hate that. That's not weak. That's a little better. What's the difference between a football player and a homo? What? Nothing. <laughs> you know what I hate? What? I hate when I'm in the middle of going to the bathroom and a cop pulls me over for speeding. <laughs> I hate that. <laughs> now you're on a roll. There you go. You know what I hate? What? what? Hate? When your mother asks you to move your car when you're in the middle of of having sex with a Thanksgiving turkey. <laughs> That's what I hate. 
Hey, Ma, I don't want to move my car in the middle of having sex. Ah, the turkey! <laughs> the turkey. <laughs> Come on, Ma. 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 We try. We try. Now go memorize it. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. What are you, crazy? I learned how to read. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a good reader. Surprise, motherfucker. There's no way Jared can fill up my daughter the way the murder did. He is thick like a can of Pepsi. We're the white women at. I approve this message. Radio Raheem. Oh Listen, man, goodness. you you said that your people have been fighting for 400 Come years. On, man. Your people know- too. So I just want you to explain what you mean too. by that. You know what I'm talking about. Y'all all know what I'm talking about, man. Don't sit up here and try to bait and not know what I'm talking about. Y'all know what the fuck I talk about when I say these things. Your people too. Explain it. I, I not everybody knows what you're talking about. Radio Raheem, I don't have to explain what's understood, man. You know what I mean by that. You know what I say about that. I ain't got to go further. And if nobody, if anybody don't understand that, then God be with them. Go look up the history. Go look up the history. Shit, ain't, don't everybody believe in Google? Go Google that shit. See what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about, man. You know what I dare you to sit up there and say, explain. You know what I'm talking about, man. It's fighting people. You know we've been fighting 400 and still fighting to this day. To this day. To this day. You just sit here and you don't know what I'm talking about? Man, I'm out of here, bro. Let's go. Come on, let's, wait, wait, wait. let's go, man. Hey, let's go. Radio around here with Milk Crate Mulatto. We know what he's talking about. Good news, boppers. The big alert has been called off. It turns out that the early reports were wrong. All wrong. Now for Milk Crate, out there that had such a hard time getting home. Sorry about that. I guess the only thing we can do is play you a song. Look at this punk ass bitch. Run your pockets. Milk Crate Marauder is the shit. Venmo at Milk Crate Marauder. Cash app, dollar sign, Milk Crate Marauder. Uh, uh. <laughs>